Welcome to the Wild Magic School Bus. My name is Michelle Piper, but you might know me as Kenneth Quinn. You know, the rootin' tootin' one. This Dungeons & Dragons podcast may contain fantasy violence and language, so maybe don't tell your mom about us, um, unless she's real cool. Our content warnings can be found in episode descriptions, so now that you've been properly warned, buckle up and crack a window, because it's time to start the adventure and witness D&D the way it was meant to be endured. Can you guys imagine if Stranger Things instead of Vecna was Vecbra? Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wild Magic School Bus, the most unprofessional DD podcast ever to be seen or heard. I, of course, am <laughs> Calvin Piper, and this constellation of characters plays the game with me. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves, guys. The poetry he's bringing it's, tonight. It's because we're stars, that's why we're. Oh. <laughs> Yes, there, was the, there was the double meaning. Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't realize that. <laughs> little, little That's so sweet. Yeah. You're so great. I'll show you some stars. <laughs> Thank Guys, you. Matt yeah. has his nipples tattooed. That's in real life. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice. canon. Um, show the audience. Which one? No. Which one? <laughs> yeah. Not for free. For all the listeners <laughs> at home, Matt is Not lifting his shirt Please right subscribe. now. Our only Which fans. <laughs> Please That's amazing. Matt, okay, Matt uh, Yang's about to get a whole bunch of weird date offers. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is not, well, I might be my thing. I don't know. I don't know. Matt quits this freelancing because he's selling foot pics. Yes. <laughs> <Now we're laughs> yeah. Matt Yang remember. is going to have a OnlyFans, everybody. Hello, I'm Matty B, and I Thank play you. Fulgrin the Fourth, the Dwarven Paladin. What's your favorite heavenly body? My favorite heavenly body? My yeah. Alan Boo. Yes. <laughs> Go off. I definitely <laughs> posh it up right next to him. I was like, yo, what's your favorite? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm Will, and I play Glyph Kazidi, the lizard folky and the artificer. For those who don't know, Will has a godlike physique. Yeah. How does that I know for sure at all? If that guy yes, was thanks, a, dude. That Rose guy was a some, somewhat... Go ahead. Yes, I mean, go ahead. You're right. <laughs> so do I, on. but it looks more come on, like Fan Thor. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that guy yeah, was Fan Thor. We've got both phases was... of Thor covered. <laughs> you wish. Well, Thor is actually, like, canonically yeah, supposed to have a dad bod, so... Because he's a god really? of man. Ooh, canonical yeah, dad, dad bod? Yeah. Can- there it is. No, I'm serious. There it is. I'm, yeah. Canonical dad bod. Yeah, let's let's awesome. keep the intros rolling with Matt Yang. Yep, that's me. I'm TVD, the male variant human monk level 5, and uh, my favorite <clears throat> constellation is... I can only really think of the big and little dipper for some reason, so I'll just say the big one. I know there's more. Fair. <laughs> good, fair. Good, good. There's the only On the two spot, constellations that will. Uh, hey guys, it's Preston, the guy that accidentally made uh, a god named Vecbra cannon in a setting, and has to deal with repercussions of that. Was it and accidental? No, it wasn't. I'm just stupid. Uh, <laughs> and I play the Asmar Warlock, Lucius Kane. My favorite astral body is... Levistus. I made it up, and I'm evil now. Oh. Cool. Hey, everybody, this is Drew. I play Zeph, the metallic dragonborn warlock. Draconian. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. 30-something episodes. 32, in. I just wrote it down. No way! Whoa. And I don't, and I don't believe I don't believe in your your pagan star signs. But it, there, it, hey, there's only one star. It's the one that led Jesus. That's right. One led, led the two last Jesus, man, right. yeah, to Jesus. Wait, are you saying Jesus followed the star? I mean, he was, you know. Mm. That's how that worked. All right. Jesus Christ superstar. I think that's what's. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that was like Jesus Christ apostrophe superstar. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. Hi, I'm Will, and I play <laughs> Armor, the Leonin Blood Hunter. Um, lion. Lion. Lion, 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 man. lion Man. Yeah, level five. Kind of reductive. Uh, favorite space thing? Uh, no. Leo. No. What the frick are you talking about? That's so uh, Leo. Ton 618. So this is for the nerds. Nerd, nerd. That's not real. Hey guys, Will Moon is Will Moon, bro. Come on, that's in the space. Will, bro, are, what are you going to basic, bro? What are you going to college for? Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, moon technically, stuff. it's uh, mechanical engineering, but close enough. Space 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 leading to aerospace engineering. Yes, Will loves the stars. Wow. He's also single. Um, Big fan of Uranus. Oh wait, he should no, be his hair. No, Will. 
<laughs> We're trying to be appropriate this episode. This your anus. <laughs> You're a big fan of his. Never. Oh. Oh, to be Michelle. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm Michelle, and I play Kenneth Quinn, and uh, I don't have. I don't have a favorite. Stars kind of stress me stare out her, sometimes. Stare at her. Make her feel the pressure. North Star. Um, you, the sun. you know what? <laughs> Feel peer pressure anymore, so your pressure isn't gonna work. Space oh. stresses me out sometimes. Amen. Oh. Amen. <laughs> Amen. My prayer to Jesus. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey Jesus, space like stresses me out. Stars to make shapes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? If in the future, like we just had a tight two-sentence intro for our characters okay. to prevent. What happens every week? You mean Calvin getting what? mad like uh, that? This is branding. I don't think it'll ever happen. Can we try it? He opened ben, up I'll have one for next week. Definitely not We're this not week because be it's time sure. to go ahead and jump into uh, episode 32 of the Goscar Chronicle. I'm gonna write a haiku for Glyph. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> So the last time we were here, United Indifference had descended into the underground laboratory formerly run by one Emeraldi, the creator, uh, teacher, and patron of the Draconian Ordinance, which two of our party members were a part of. They had uncovered some good memories, uh, unlocked some not-so-great memories, and learned many more secrets, some of which uh, have yet to reach their finality, others uh, bringing more questions than answers. However, the group hasn't quite finished uh, down here in the laboratory, as they've uh, traveled through several different rooms and discovered things and unlocked other things, but now they've found themselves in a room that for three of the individuals, Glyph, Zeph, and their uh, brother Balefire, who has been following along these last couple weeks, this room strikes an air of familiarity, as it was one that the party had spent a lot of time in. Uh, the high ceilings and uh, sloping arches of uh, mechanical contraptions that kind of dance along the entirety of this place, the faint glow from uh, lights that line the entirety of the walls and just the vastness of this room uh, leads to some striking uh, remembrances. And that is where we pick up this week with uh, the three of you standing in this small kind of cramped room in this back uh, hallway that you guys found inside Emeraldi's study, kind of a trap door, as it were, uh, that led you to the secret laboratory and now has led you to this room. As the three of you step into this small observation room, you can see the large room in front of you, um, and it strikes you as familiar. Uh, this is the training hall, the place where Emeraldi taught, trained, and helped to hone many of the skills of you and your brethren in the ordinance. The one we're in now? Uh, we're you are standing in what appears to be some sort of a small observation room. Overlooking, uh, the, overlooking the entirety of uh, the training hall itself. And it is a massive room. Uh, anywhere from 80-ish, 80 feet or so out to the other side. Uh, the ceiling's uh, almost as tall with uh, large pillars that support the arching uh, uh, ceiling above. Uh, a large uh, doorway with steps that um, descend off to one side, seemingly collapsed inward with a lot of debris, uh, which seems to be connected to the uh, the shop that you guys had encountered not too long ago with a couple of special items that you uncovered. Uh, but this room is the only one that seems to be uh, seemingly untouched by time and or damage, as the rest of this place uh, has seen a lot of. But that is what you see in front of you, and that is... How much recollection we do we have of this room? Uh, quite a bit, actually. Oh. From the bits and pieces that you do remember, a lot of the time you spent in here, the conversations you had, uh, was spent in this room. This is where a majority of your days were spent. Uh, learning new skills, uh, honing your old ones. Emerald usually held assemblies in here for the most part if it wasn't in the dining hall. Uh, this place was kind of the main uh, area of activity from day to day for the Draconians. Okay, right on. Do we... Um... 
how how many of us were there at its height? Make a history check. This is the sound of dice, y'all. Uh, 12. 12? You remember quite a few. Um, to your knowledge, you know kind of off the, the edges of your memory that there were some that you never truly interacted with, being as they were from other uh, broods, mm-hmm. for lack of a better term. But you recall maybe anywhere from 40... 40 to 50 draconians at one time. Cool. I mean, certainly there was enough to fill this room significantly mm-hmm. at one point or another. Was there brood rivalry? <laughs> no. It just, uh, the broods never seemed to really interact if there was di- several stages. Mm-hmm. You just recall your group mm-hmm. uh, for the most part, and even within that group there were smaller uh, kind of cliques, I guess, uh, of people that kind of Boated uh, more together, whether it be because of your powers or because of your interests. Um, I think it's because we were the most powerful. I think, yeah, and the best looking that, yeah. too is what yeah. I, I think. One of those trophies that I found of yours actually said second best looking draconian. So uh, most bitch. most likely to look the best on a, on yeah. a good day or something like yeah. that. Yeah, uh-huh. absolutely. His bad day is as good as your good day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I look all right. I molt regularly. Yeah. Most people can't control when it happens, but... Uh, but that's the, what the three of you draconians <clears throat> see. Uh, actually, no, not the three of you. The three that are standing in the front, which would be Oromir, Glyph, and Zeph, being that that was the line of procession. The rest mm. of you are still in a kind of a dingy <laughs> hallway, uh, listening to some <clears throat> quiet conversation up in front of you yeah. as these three are seeing uh, what they see. Hey, guys, is, is, it, is stuff cool, or, like, what the frick has happened up there? I mean, yeah, it's it's. You, you don't have to cover your mouth, especially when there's microphones. He was yeah, making. Yeah. I'm in a cavern. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in another room. I'm in, a, I'm in a cavern. Hey guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, guys, are, are you guys good? Uh, yeah, things are gonna be alright up here. Just uh, be forewarned. This is kind of like a training room, so you know you might sit. Is there gonna be like beam. bombs? Could be. That's oh, what I was about yeah. to. Get. Okay. Nice. Guys, there's bombs up there. No, 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 no. This is just the observation room. You don't. Next is the. We're gonna observe some bombs in this room. Is there a door into the training room? There is not. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. There is a window uh, facing out into there. Uh, this room does not seem to... The only exit entrance or exit into this room is behind you where the rest of the group is now standing. It's a window with glass in it? With you could tell. It's a darker glass. Uh-huh. Um, it's not uh, clear. It's almost a kind of a dark green Ooh. kind of a color, but it is clear enough to be able to see in there. I, I pull out my pistol. I'm like, you want to make a duel? <laughs> um, wait, hold on. I, I just want to peer in there a little closer. He's going to go up and just, like, put his hands on it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> stare through. Sure. Make a perception check. <laughs> oh, a, a face. Yeah, like, I like that you the, were, like, really sound. leaning like, on to being able to, you know, Fall do through. It. Yeah, no, just what do I was it. You were oh, really no, 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 no. I wasn't even there. I was like, and he puts his hands against the glass and falls through. It's 16. 16. Uh, you see a room full of uh, a myriad of different things. You can see there is uh, one of the pillars of the four pillars in this room seems to have collapsed. Uh, for some reason, the uh, large portion of it strung out across the floor. Um, actually, there seems to be a chunk of it that hit the far wall, perhaps causing a bit of the collapse uh, in the main walkway. Um, you can see there's like a gouge of uh, mortar and stone from that side that has fallen down. Um, there are several contraptions in here. Um, obstacles that you remember, some that you've never seen before. Um, the whole room just kind of, uh, again, untouched by time. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all you can see. Right. You do also notice with the 16 that there is seems to be some sort of a, a dark uh, purple glow from something off just to the offside of the door uh, that is the collapsed doorway uh, inside the arena. Oh yeah, we need to get in there. I'm seeing like a purpley glow. Like in- I mean, we could we could go the first way. We could figure out how to get down there the the other way. Why don't I just open the latch on this? M- no. <laughs> Why don't I just no. hit like the, it's a school bus and pinch yeah. the two sides of the window together and slide and it? We'll just climb floor. down. In. Yeah, uh, so I, I don't know. I take a second look at Eremy. I'm like, hey, uh, you haven't got to hit anything with that mall of yours in a long time, and if you know, Is we it would. Okay. I mean, 
Only one way really to find out. I don't think this is. I mean, I'll check it. I'll check it. Getting like uh, your permission. Uh, Fifteen for trap skis on it. No traps seem to. You okay. don't see any traps. Yeah, I mean, uh, the window can't consent, but we can consent for it. So, um, yeah. Belfire, you're cool if he ah, smashes the window. Cool. Uh, Belfire kind of leans his head into the room, already pretty to capacity, but kind of looks and goes, "Well, this is fine if that's the only way in." What is class oh, nice. but murdered sand? Twenty-two. That's deep. Uh, That's Twenty-two deep. hits. Oh. Go ahead and roll your damage. Profound. Uh-huh. <laughs> roll some big damage. This is my damage. Ten hey, billion. Can you cut yourself so you hurt the window more? <laughs> <laughs> you got blood in the window. What the frick? <laughs> Do lightning damage to the window. <laughs> Uh, the lightning dissipates across the surface into the. Ooh, room. not bad. Not bad. Nasty, dude. Uh, Five, six. Oh, Thirteen points. Thirteen. Also nice. Thirteen. You. Haul your you swing your uh, is it a hammer? Haul the maul. Maul. Haul maul. Like a large you haul your maul. Your maul. Uh, you nice. swing your maul as hard as you can, and it crashes against the glass with a resounding thunk. And you see the shatter of the glass, kind of beginning to spider. Uh, does not break though. Um, it is rather solid glass. Uh, you can tell, even with your immense Maybe strength. You shoot the so point that it shattered. Uh, yep, uh, it's uh, gonna be like a 17. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Alright, cool. It's it a piece of glass. Ironically, it doesn't have a great armor class. Did you expect uh. the glass to get its ass kicked this hard? I did not. <laughs> 12 more points of glass damage. Uh, I need Glyph and, uh, sorry, Zeph and Armir to make a constitution saving throw. Frig. Whoa, the glass was sa- saving them from something. Ooh. No, I just concussed them uh. with this, this uh. other uh. pistol. Oh boy. <laughs> Fail. Oh boy. Eleven. Fail. Oh. Uh, you, both of you take. Uh, you don't take any damage, but you are deafened for a minute as a <gasps> a, a oh, taffy oh. of just thunderous Since noise erupts right between us, uh, right next to our from heads. his gun. That what just go, if you were standing next to a gun, it would hurt your you ears. Have, you have uh, but yeah, but basically, right. the glass shatters out, and immediately both of you just hear this high pitched like dinging noise. <laughs> Zeph um, exclaims, "Go, go!" What the crap? And just smacks him on the side of the head blindly, like he's just stumbling around. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think it's used open. To? What were you thinking? Oh, yeah, it's, hey, it's hey, definitely. You hey. see my mouth moving, but you can't. Yeah, you can't, no, I can't. Like, <coughs> it's definitely. Open. Guys, everything okay? I'm I, a gun I shot. accept your apology. Okay, I'm glad. Uh, and I hop onto. No, the no, no. It's fine. Stop apologizing. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's actually like my fault. <laughs> how long is the drop? Uh, there's definitely a sizable hole in the glass down. More, much more of it is shattered. Uh, a good push would definitely send yep. pieces of it out. Um, easy enough to do. There's uh, maybe about a four foot opening that you can get through. So most everybody can get through without issue. Uh, it looks to be about a 10 to 15 foot drop to the floor. So not terrible. Mm, uh, yeah. Unless you land wrong, in which case you will break an ankle. Can, can, can Lucius get up there? Absolutely. Uh, not right now until right. not unless somebody gets out of the I'll area. jump yeah. I'll jump through and gracefully yeah, we'll glide to the sure. I'll just do the thing where you like hang down and then drop and then drop down yeah okay. no no problem superhero landing dibs go uh, ahead and roll so a like Black Panther acrobatics or athletics your choice uh, Calvin I saw a rule where like you can superhero land but you take a flat 3d6 but you cannot fail <laughs> like, like you do it. Yeah, it's cool, but you also just take thirty six damage. It's 16. not. It's not me jumping off the cliff. Yeah, you're fine. It's like, yeah, you get the coolest cool shit, but you yeah. hurt your I shins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, you, uh, you definitely, uh, your knuckles are gonna hurt later with the uh, because you, you, you landed more on your like front forward than you thought you would. I've got fingers uh, closed, but, but you, yeah, it'll be, it'll hurt a little bit. So, yeah. uh, can Lucius like, like drop like. Like while holding onto the chain that's connected to the to the casket, yeah. like drop it down, yeah, yeah. and it's like gonna be like have it like vertically touch the ground, and then uh-huh. I'm gonna put his feet on top of that, yeah, and then have it fall over, and him try to like surf catch it his, down, yeah, surf it down, down, Ooh. make a um it shatters under your choice. feet. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I'm gonna use an amulet. The bones stuff of I don't your... roll well. <laughs> it's actually it's probably a good idea. Them, so I can't. I think if there's any moment that your patron would want you to succeed, it would be this moment. He's, he's like, sweet, bro. Uh, eleven? Do I fail? Uh, eleven? Yeah, uh, you do take uh, a D four of damage. Oh, no, 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 hold on. That's a twelve. Ah, twelve, you're fine. Oh hell yeah! No, it's great. Uh, you, it doesn't look graceful, but you don't hurt yourself. I thought we were playing D and D here. Thank you. I'm shredding sick nar, dude. Leave me alone. 
Um, okay, damage. so one by one, everyone, Let's unless someone damage. wants to do something <laughs> of note, one by one, everyone can get through without issue. No, I love uh, that. The only person who has a little bit of a struggle would be Fulgren, because he's about as wide as the hole is tall. Uh, uh, pothole but, offers to catch him from down below. <laughs> you know, um, like a dad. <laughs> Boy. Uh, yeah, easy to throws the That's my goat. boy. <laughs> That's my boy. No, my boy. Uh, oh, yeah. Full uh, Fulgren hops oh, down, and uh, Pablo is able to help him without issue. So uh, it's like the reverse of Helm's Deep. Pulse me. Yeah, catch me. Yeah, same thing. Um, okay, so you are all now in this very large room, and you can kind of. Uh, the air in here is very still. There doesn't seem to be any movement of any kind, but you can see, again, this rather large room with these dark uh, plates, these dark, almost like uh, extensions of the wall, maybe about 12 feet high and about five or six feet across that are all placed just across the entirety of this room against the walls. One wall you can see about about 20 feet up on the wall. There seems to be this kind of uh, scaffolding with all kinds of like ropes and... Uh, Devices that hang from the ceiling across this maybe about 50 or 60 foot track um, up near one side of the wall. You can see in the center uh, of the room, in between all four of the pillars, there are, appear to be these smaller, uh, what looks to be uh, crates or cubes made of wood or uh, pieces of metal all kind of strewn about in kind of a, a mishmash formation. Um, and then on one side, you can see what looks to be this device of these two. Uh, oval, uh, be like wooden barrels with this long, thin, uh, plank of wood that is attached to it, maybe about 20 or 25 feet across. Um, but that is what you see in here, uh, immediately as of, like, the first things you notice. Guys, it's uh, your origin story. But, yeah. So cool. What about the, uh, glowing of the purple? Uh, as you move over to the door, you can see, uh, in, in, inlaid in the wall, uh, very similar to the one that you saw next to Emerelli's uh, door, there appears to be another sort of device or panel that is embedded in the wall uh, with one kind of like weakly flashing uh, glyph that just kind of flashes a, a dark purple just like infrequently, like almost like a, a faint heartbeat but like sporadic. Um, but that's the only thing that is glowing uh, on it currently. So it's and, like a dull pulsing? Yeah. Okay. But like sporadic, as if it's like not functioning properly. Guys, press the fourth one. It always works. Can, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and say that we don't press anything. This uh, was a training room. Can you give, so, give us a brief description of what we see again? I was so distracted. Sure. Dude, I was too. I was like, I'm sorry. not. I'm, I am so sorry. It's okay. Um, so, standing in the room itself, in the middle of the room, there are looks to be about five or six, uh, maybe six or seven foot cubes that sit in the middle of the room at different, just all across this area of the middle of this arena. Um, some made of wood, some made of metal, but they're all just kind of like in this strange kind of pattern in the middle of it. Um, off to one side towards the door, there is this large device that stands about maybe ten feet tall with these long kind of pole arms that stick out from various angles, almost like this, uh, almost spider-like, but uh, straight and rigid. Like a training dummy, um, yeah. Almost, but much larger. Uh, very, very big. Almost like yeah, those... So like one of those things where the, the, the donkey gets attached to it and it spins around. Same kind of thing, but many, many apparatuses protruding from it. Uh -huh. um, there's the main doorway with the small glowing panel to one side. Off to the far side of the arena, there seems to be a stair that goes up to this long kind of scaffolding, about 20 to 25 feet up in, in the air. Attached to that scaffolding is many, many devices and apparatuses that are not moving, but they're all sitting up there uh, strewn across. And there is along, not along that section of the wall, but along every other section of the wall, there are these large 12 foot by 6 foot black panels that are embedded in the wall, almost like, almost like extrusions of the wall, but they're made of, like, slick metal, not uh, stone, as the rest of the All on the same up. level? Uh, yeah, all, all based on the floor, going about 12 feet tall and about 6 feet wide, and there's, like, just mm. maybe about 7 or 8 of these panels that go across the entirety of the arena. Is this the American Gladiator Arena, Calvin? Uh, is there a tennis ball gun? <laughs> There is not a tennis ball gun. Salmon uh, ladder? Is that the idea? But is that what I'm seeing? Warrior. There is a plateau with two guys <laughs> who are <laughs> like, see you next time on American Ninja War. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, but there are definitely uh, things that would attribute to that. Uh, there's, there does seem to be some obstacles or things mm -hmm. that were used to hone uh, 
physical skills as well as mental skills. Oh, guys. Hmm. Can can I do it? Can Tra- I do a history training check? Montage? Yeah, I'm in there. I'm in there with can you. Can I? I gotta do it. Can we do? Yeah, yeah. What that, are you trying to figure out? Um, how we use this room specifically. Nice. What is? What do I have? Plus zero. Uh, is plus what, what, what type, type check is this? For this one, history. Uh, history. It'd be a history check. Out. Twelve. No. I think I think it's plus zero to intelligence. <laughs> Mystery? Yes. Zero. Okay, 15. 15. Not hard to remember. There, You do recall uh, several, several times where you use this room to run obstacles or to uh, run different training uh, regiments in order to, uh, for you specifically to be able to uh, hone your glyph magic and also to fly a little bit here and there. There does seem to be some catwalks that run across the top. Most of them uh, have fallen or collapsed or are hanging, uh, but you do remember doing that quite a few times, actually. Um uh, this room does uh, lend itself to being a very familiar place that you spent a lot of time. That's how we got so good at the things that we do. I love this place. This is, We used to call it recess, didn't we, though? Uh, Playtime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funsies, I'm, funsies. Yeah, I mean, watch it. I pull out my pistol and I look for something that I probably would have shot at some point. There are targets. Nailed it. 18. Uh, there, is a, there is a delightful as it hits a metal... Uh, plate in this like little black box and it spins rapidly as the bullet uh, pings off it. Should we read the uh, symbol I'm guessing that the blinking light is associated with? Oh yeah, uh, put my pistol away my kit, uh, work stuff. So yep. Is the blinking light the glowing purple? The purple glow? Yes, that okay. w- it seems to be f- glowing faintly from a uh, sputtering glyph uh, embedded in this panel. Yeah, I'll go oh, over and look at it. On Turn it on! <laughs> sputtering um, glyph. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I'll go over and help him out. I'm gonna holler at Thulgren. Mm-hmm. Big, hey, no, you're 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 Dilver. It's kind of what you do. Maybe these symbols will mean something to you. Didn't mean to Doctor Seuss it, but I don't think I've ever seen this one before. No, I won't be honest with you. I'll make a history check. I'll see what uh, <laughs> to use the panel. Yeah, that would be an intelligence check. You're us even better. No, it's the same 12. 12. Uh, you did it. <laughs> you can see that if you press the glowing <laughs> symbol <laughs> and uh, run, uh, kind of like run your finger, top finger across some uh, some indents on the top there, you it appears to be that you could activate something if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, turn I, it on. Do we want to? Do we, I mean, you know what happens when you turn it on. You got to fight something. Right. Do we want to do that here? My question is, is there real any like real reason we should be turning this on right now? It's fun. All right. Are you like fun? But I don't think fun is what we're here for, mate. Yeah, what are you here for? I mean, cure and bail fire. Oh, yeah, cure. Kind of oh, is, that the, is, that, is that what we came here with the expectation of? I thought you... Does it look like there'd be a good reason we should turn this on? Are you looking for something specific? Yeah, like... Make a, a perception. Make an investigation check. Oh, There's why? also no other entrances to this room. Not that you've looked for, but yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> that means we should probably figure great. that out it's before we fill the room with seven? lava. Seven. You don't see anything in here that lends to what you're trying to do, but All right. you're not really can, familiar can we, with this area. So sorry. why don't we explore the room? Yeah. Look for methods of egress, if you will. Egress. <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Can lose this? And then we can turn it on. I want to make a. Yeah, Lucius is going to make like a, a just a perception check, just like a check. Sure. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, specifically, I'm going to do something specific, just like specifically for other access or entrances. Mm-hmm. That would be investigation if you're looking for something specific. Oh, something specific? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just a. Oh, yeah, I'll, just, I'll, 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 I'll do investigation check. Sure. I'll do investigation. Can check. I aid him? I'm gonna. I'm gonna sure. guide myself. You want to give him advantage? Go for it. I'm gonna I guide myself to you. Oh heck yeah. What's that? Hey, 19. Oh, sweet. I love Advantage. Thank you. 21. 21. Uh, uh, wait. 20. Oh, no, it was 21. Sorry. I have plus zero. 21. You do see uh, at one end of the arena towards the far end, there does seem to be some sort of a uh, a lowering of the floor and some huh. sort of a metal plate that offsets the square... Uh, you know, uh, offsetting stone floor. There is a about a three foot pad of uh, circle circular stone. Oh, hey guys, there's uh, 
uh, a circle thing. Oh, a three foot pan of circular stone. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you can take cold it yourself. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <clears throat> is that like a is that like a teleportation thing? What is this? Based on your investigation and the uh, slight depression in the floor, you would assume this is some sort of a uh, drain or some sort of a opening to a lower t- uh, tube yeah, or something. Can I like just like touch like I'm gonna like touch it like just try to like see if I like step on it does anything happen or you step on it nothing happens. Sweet. Any acidy smell and around? Is there like a nope. hole? Is there holes in it? Like like a dr- normal drain would um, Or upon further investigation, there does seem to be small uh, incisions across, uh, kind of like a, a small ser- section of the middle of it. Mm. Um, but yeah, as far can as I you make can like tell, a, like a medicine check to see if like there's any like chemical scarring or like. Sure, make a, make a medicine check. I gotta use it because I never like sure. use it. I'm good with chemistry. Fourteen plus. Six. Twenty. Dirty twenty. Uh, no. No chemical scar. Oh, okay. Hey, Glyph, do you think we should tell him that it's just where we drain off the blood from all the victims we lure in here from all over the world? Oh, uh, what? Uh, no. Oh. No, that was not canon, sorry. No, I'm, yeah, I mean, we never, done what? <laughs> it's all this, but it's the baby drain. Oh, my God. What? Um, uh, yep, yeah, well... I mean, here's the thing. I could mess with this board a little more, see if I could get something figured out, but I haven't really found a way out except going back up the way we came. I'm going to go up to the catwalk. Maybe I'll see something from up there. Are you going to do a little dance on the catwalk? I could. Do you think Do you think entrance opens after you, like, complete, like, an obstacle, or...? Well, it could be. Like, like a collapse, right? Huh? The, the entrance was... Collapsed. Oh, wait, is that the Because this was the, the same place oh, that we were from the other area. Oh, was, yeah, it was collapsed. I mean, it, it bad, could yeah. be a matter of like, hey, you're in here, but your door's locked. You know, you don't get to go out until you, do you accomplish it. Remember, you, yeah, like, do you remember rocks that? falling every time you came in? <laughs> <laughs> I already tried. Oh. I already tried. I couldn't really figure it out. Ba- no, there well, used to be a door over there. Yeah, that was the main. That was the main way to get in and out. Bale in and fire. Out. You might remember since you remember a little bit more. Uh, was this the place where Emerald had his last stand? Uh oh. Bale fire check. Uh, Balefire is sitting uh, off. He sit, looks like he's sitting check. on a small kind of a bench off to the corner, just kind of head down, uh, rubbing his hands. Um, nothing crazy, but just definitely does not look very involved in what's going on right now. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it'd be established that most likely his last time took place in the cafeteria yeah. where the where the teleportation well, circle was found. I mean, that I mean, would make sense. That makes us. And I from. think he didn't want anyone getting into the uh, into his study because it, you know, the secret compartment room. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense that like the kitchen would be the last place before he got. I, I seem to remember when I saw this room, thinking over and over, it was the one place that seemed untouched or damaged. Over and over, I heard myself mm-hmm. saying that. I mean, so there there is a drain in the floor. It. Stands to reason that maybe something did happen in here, and, and then, then was just washed away. Is there a possibility that, like, maybe Emerald did purposely closed this place off, right? And maybe. But I, d- I don't know why though. Why? Why, why this room? Maybe like, oh, there's something see, hidden within it. Did you say that there was a blast, like on one of the walls? Maybe under the train, mm-hmm. okay. the blood drain. So, like part of part of one of the Brand walls had <laughs> struck. One the of the struck the wall oh, okay. and caused the collapse. It's well, I'm gonna go up to the catwalk. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm gonna mess with the the board. I'm gonna see if I can figure out something on the fancy. To board. BD. Catwalk. Yeah. Um, so you're I mean, gonna you're gonna to. start. Are you gonna I'm, push buttons, or are you just gonna keep studying it? Uh, I would like to do at least one more round of keep studying before I just start. Make to another intelligence check. Uh, can I give him guidance? Sure. Nice. I would be guided. Guided. Oh. Twenty four. Twenty four. Uh, uh, it makes a little more sense now. You can tell that there's probably a way to open stuff, um, and it stands to reason that this probably could have opened or closed certain things, or probably activated or deactivated other things. Um, nothing really clear and concise on what does what, because none of it's labeled. It just seems to be all. <coughs> It was probably run by somebody who understood what they were doing, and that was about it. You know, that's a valid point, and I'm yelling up to you at the kit walk. Like, remember how he never labeled anything? Because, oh, who's going to run it but me? Right. 
Bit of a pompous manoeuvre on hubris, his part. Hubris, hubris, yeah. yeah. Well, it's Hard. left us in this position. Don't worry, guys. If I'm dead, you're long dead. Remember when he'd mm. say that shit? Yeah. That's well, fucked up. there are no oh. per- perfect parents. How many buttons are there? Let's see. Hard to tell. Oh. There's only the one that was glowing steadily. Like, uh, Does it look like steadily. a glyphic query? Uh, kinda. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's again, it's it's un, it's unclear. <laughs> Write it down, which I'm really glyphic that. QWERTY. Okay. Hiya, actually, up on the catwalk, yes. not much you can see above other than the arching ceilings. You do notice up on the top there, without much. Uh, Muster fuss. There appear to be what looks to be like three metal grates that are in different sections of the arches mm-hmm. up there, mm-hmm. uh, appearing to be uh, looks like two plates of metal that are crossed over each other, one offset slighter than the other, but they are closed. There is no gaps in them. Mm-hmm. Um, but based on what they are and kind of where you are, you would gather they're probably something that could open. Yeah. So three of these doors up there mm-hmm. that could, yeah. You're gonna open like a vent, a basically, for lack of a better term. From it. Uh-huh. Oh like vents, but they're all shut. Yeah, the floor is lava, baby. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna holler at Lucius mm-hmm. and I'm gonna say, "Hey, mate. Uh, yeah. How would you feel about pressing exactly three buttons on this uh, fancy <sighs> controller?" But hold on. There's no tennis ball cannon. No. I mean, the yeah. 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 nothing yeah. like a tennis ball cannon. The things. only That's tennis ball cannon. I mean, it worked last time I did it. Only thing that looks like a tennis ball cannon is the uh, object he pulled out of the shop that he hasn't identified yet. Uh, Oh, yeah, the cylinder. I don't know if it's undefeated. The electric shock you took that one time was a little bit crazy. I didn't push a button. I I just don't miss the keys anymore. Yeah, there's no keys. The lava chutes are not directly above my head, are they? No, they're not. Okay, perfect. (laughs) All right. All right, uh, let's get later. Guys! It's time for button pressing. Oh wait, or do you want Lord Ferrara to do it? Nice stuff. Uh, I mean, either something. one of you so would work really. I push. Yeah, I push a button. Now I push it. a button. Just any button. I'm gonna close my eyes and push a button. Roll for it. Uh, you push a button. Nothing happens. Click all right, one. All right one down. That was anti-climax. Right, I'm cutting your eyes, mate. We're trying to figure this out. Wait, did I miss it? it? Just click on the glowing one. Oh. the... Uh, you do, and as you do, you watch as several other uh, glyphs appear on the board, and they all begin to sputter and, like, flare uh, sporadically. Oh, I know this game. you got to hit it when it lights up. Okay. Uh, you, you, okay, I use both Fuck my hands. It. When did we go from uh, we're not okay. turning we, we, this we, we, on hey, to punch you do all the with buttons? Me. Time, it, time it with me. Yeah. Okay. okay. We press, press all the buttons at the same time. Okay, go. All right. Three, two, one. So you just mash buttons? Yeah. I mean, if they're all glowing, they mean push me. I, who's got that control I mean, we, we panel have a li- that we no, had? No information to work off of, so we got to What the crap is here. happening here? We went from so like being real nice and dainty yes. about walking well, through here, and now it's just the eh, first thing that press everything. Is the large apparatus, the large, uh, the large uh, so mini appendage apparatus, <laughs> begins to slowly start to spin. Oh, no, it begins to move in its uh, its space. Can you go run on, jump on it? Uh, well, you can't because there's many, many arms that are swinging outward. Imagine like those sparring uh, totems that oh, are yeah, like, the, the, like in yeah, Hitman yeah. or like those kind of things, but much, much longer, maybe about uh, eight to ten feet out. Uh, and they're all beginning to slowly rotate. And you can see as it rotates, some of them are beginning to move in like chop like fashions or like being just swing dodge, faster. Dodge, so, dive. yeah, basically, it, it's designed for you to move around. That's the first thing that moves. The second thing that moves is you can see. You hear this like deep rumbling, and you can you hear it first because it's above, <laughs> and you can see the many apparatuses on this large scaffolding off to the side begin to move and swing. You watch as these uh, blades come out of the wall, she, 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 and you see these like rollers begin to oscillate on the scaffolding itself, and these nice things begin to drop. Push and you wankers. The other thing you hear is this deep, <laughs> and you hear this. Trum, 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 trum. And We're in a trend, as I'll you all through. turn, you can see on the far wall, three of the black panels begin to start to break and turn as not shatter or come apart, but the smooth black surface begins to decompartmentalize into blocks or a stones of different no sizes way. that begin to start to like form. And you no watch way. as... Yes. Three blocks fall to the ground, and as they begin to rise up, you can see they are no longer blocks of stone. They are Voltron. They are the largest and scariest looking automatons you've ever seen, mainly because their appendages are not adhered to them by 
stone or sinew or anything you've seen before, each one of them begins to emanate this strange green electronic <laughs> across all their appendages as now they come to life and boom, their eyes flash. You hear a <laughs> the panel goes dark. I'd like you guys to go ahead and roll that shit in. <laughs> like, what, like, I would love Do you recognize those? I would love it if there was like an Easter egg <laughs> where like, if we press so all the good, buttons, it would short circuit that. everything and the automatons would automatically get power and power down. Oh, you think so, wouldn't you? I like it. I mean, it's yeah, close. Okay. It's so close. One of the faces close. You may have a death in your... I can't see it. Oh, hey, it's 18. That's a cop so low. With that die, it would just lost. Garbo. How about he right. just passes out? Here we go. Uh, <laughs> starting with initiatives, 25 to 20. 21. 21. 21 for Lucius Yo. Kane. 21. Nice, nice guys. Uh, put DBD, TBD on top because he has higher decks. I feel like course. that one is saying. <laughs> go ahead and roll no, yeah, for my like, I'm plus three. He's, he's, he's pretty spider monkey. He, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just okay, uh, 20 to 15. Like big death. 17. 17 nice. for early. 16. Nice. The blunt death. The blunt yeah. death. Like, so like you just punch you out of existence. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were talking about like, just like getting a No, we're not talking about to the dome, no. <laughs> the blunt death. That's, that's All right. Uh, 15 to 10. 10. 11. Oh. That's his next movie. 10 <laughs> and 11. And you had 10 glyph? Uh, I had 11. You had I was going to say, could he tell the difference between us? And ten, oh, and then Kenneth? Eight. Eight. I, I remember losing my mind one episode because Calvin got us confused, and I was like, he's got wings! <laughs> <laughs> All what right, so, uh, top of the round, we begin with these three <clears throat> automatons falling to the ground, the energy pulsing through their limbs as their eyes activate, and they level them at the group standing in front of them, and the panel fizzles out behind you. Lucius, you're up. With TBD on deck. Uh, what, TBD goes first, right? Because he has higher decks, and we roll the same. Not according to this. Okay. This right. automatically Does files it? people as they are. So Wait, you what's are your plus three. Oh, I have plus three. Which is why you were first, apparently. Mm. I thought your decks was higher. Than that. I they were gonna do better than that, dude. But apparently not, dork. <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry. To make um. How, how, I'm gonna look how close they are. From the Mickey Mouse is bullying. Sure, me. go ahead. <laughs> I see this. Lucius is gonna probably move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can you get on top of this? On top of this. Uh, What's machine? I just grabbed it. Uh, can you do what now? I'm gonna move and then try to climb up top of this to get a better vantage point, or no? Like um, it would take. It would take half your move, not half your move, but it would take I, I 10 feet here. to get okay. up on top of that. So that is basically, Five, so each pillar is this like, is, is this 20 foot base that cones up okay. to yeah. a smaller pillar, but it's not so steep that you can't stand on it. So you can get up there and especially because the top of the pillar is cracked off, you can kind of use your leverage to get there a little higher. Um, so you are up a little bit more elevated, I'd say about <clears throat> six or seven feet up in the air. That's but fine. it's I just not, wanted anything really. Yeah. Uh, no issue. Are these all shards of the Astro Crag? No. The Astro Crag? Which team am I? Am I the Green Monkeys? Are those legends of the Hidden Temple, dude? Mm. Yeah, better. Um, better watch gonna, out for Olmec. Well, I'm gonna bonus action um, spooky mode. Okay. Bonus action. Uh, uh, say pale uh, visager. Uh, no, uh, it's called. Let me see. Form of dread. That's what it's called. Correct. Form of dread. Form of dread. I'm gonna get creepy. Um. And I'm gonna. Uh, I would like to hold my action until uh, one of these creatures get within uh, 60 feet of me, no which problem. is right here, like this line. Sure. I just counted. Easy so. enough to do. Okay. Who's gonna okay. Do? Does that end your turn? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, after you, you TBD boy? is on deck with Oromir. After him, cool. how, TBD's up. You. Yeah. There you go. How. Uh, how much movement or whatever would it take to go down? It would take no movement, really, because you're falling. Uh, it just depends on if you can land and not lose your movement by falling to the ground. Do you have slow fall? Oh, uh, uh, you do have slow fall. 
Do I? You can just be like, oh. You're level in what? Theory. You're level four? Five. Five. Oh, yeah, five. Sorry. Um, I think you should have it. I think that's just the passive you get with Monk. Where is that? It's in Features and Traits. Monk's epic ability. Fall. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Can you use your reaction when you fall to reduce any falling damage? 25 sure. feet, right? Because it's five times five. By 25. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever that means. Okay, so no no issue with that. Yeah, thing. so you drop down. Ping. Yeah, I look at Zeph, I go, I smile. Time to train. And then oh, I like, I drop it. down dramatically. Yep. <laughs> Easy <laughs> enough to do. Uh, and I will go towards the closest one, which I assume is the spider. It's up to you. I have to go around that yep. pillar. I'm yeah. guessing, how much your movement? Uh, oh, he's got 40, 40 feet. Okay. 40. Oh, 40. And yeah. 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 Bam! Bam! Yeah. Bam! Yeah. Sorry, and then... How do you nail it? Punch the spider atop. Yeah, so I keep uh, Fist of Unbroken Air. <sighs> okay. Uh, two key points. Strength saving throw. Strength saving throw? Spiders are... That sure air is so unbroken. That is a 16. Ah, saved. Mm. So it's half damage. Okay. Can't seem to... Only half of... Do anything on that, but... <laughs> Uh, what's half of 86? Hey, uh, Calvin. Yes. Uh, I realized I read uh, Eldritch Blast wrong. Yeah, yeah. It has a range of 120. Can I make attacks after? Sure. Eastern? Thank you. Oh, I think there's something wrong with the iPad settings. Uh, okay. I need 3D10. 3D10? Our greatest nemesis. Here's a D10 for iPad me. iPad settings. Uh-huh. Yeah, but... Yes. Oh, Ooh, oh boy! <laughs> Yeah, that's what I call homemade dice 10, right there. What? Six. <laughs> 26. 26. Half. Plus. Jeez. Oh, only 13. Oh. oh. So no, plus is good. God, you um, rolled two zeros. Uh, Incredible. Both on the homemade. Plus an additional. <laughs> a lot of questions. Well, I can more. add to it. Ah. More key points, but ah. I don't want to do that. Don't do that. Ugh, more dice roll. Whoa. <laughs> no, That's thank you. That's boring. Um. <laughs> and then... I can do two attacks. Yes. So, not satisfied with that, he tries again. Okay. <laughs> so another oh. strength saving throw. You're gonna uh-huh. do Fist of He's Unbroken up. Air again? Yep. Sorry. Uh, better roll is time 21. Bean. Still have well, same thing. Right. Where's the other one? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, right there. Okay, that's a little more real. Not as much. That's more real, yeah. 12, I think. Okay. Just 12. Twelve well, points of damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, six half. Ah. Yeah. Thank you. And then so, so I. So what? Anything? Bonus action? Yep. Uh, just I'll just do an unarmed strike. Okay. So, okay. Unarmed strike. Fourteen. Unnatural twenty hits. <laughs> Let's get Gosh, dang. Good job. Five. Five. Five points of damage. So out of frustration of not doing as much those first two times, I throw one more punch. I mean, you did 24 points of damage in one round. So, uh, the young monk falls, lands uh, without issue, stands up, and begins to rush towards the thing, and as he does, he jumps in the air and superman punches twice. Bah, bah, these gusts of wind buffet the armor of this creature as it steps back and plants its hand across the wall, causing a, a crack in the stone as he lands one more time and swings and punches, actually causing a chunk of stone to go flying off of uh, one of the forearms of this creature um, as it does not react as it is not living, but it does look down at him, uh, noticing now that it is a threat. Um, ending TBD's turn. Can it is now. Make this attack? Yes, yeah, go ahead and roll your attacks as Lucius Lush. fires his Lush shot. Lucius realizes he has more range than he thought. Uh, first attack, uh, dirty 20. Hits. And dirty 20 again. Both hit. Go ahead and run damage. Nice. Yay! Uh, can they make wisdom saves if they're capable of fear? I don't know if they are. They are incapable of fear. Okay, then don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, oh, ten. Boy. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm just going to roll another 10 because I feel like it, you know? Yeah, why not? Oh, nine. Uh, 19 force damage. I don't know if it's... Jeez. Um, I never roll that good on D10s. Yeah, firing your two shots uh, as TBD punches a bunch, it like falls back and begins to like loom towards him, and as it does, these two shots of energy scatter across its uh, chest, causing large uh, gouts of... A- 
energy and uh, explosive uh, chunks of stone can, uh, uh, falling off of it. Can can that can can we flavor that as like the Eldritch Blast? Like have that like uh, that like spooky soul like bunch of like gaggle souls things like it's like oh and then like it hits and it's like and then you get like a faint dispersion of like ah oh, as it's pouring sure, poor, yeah, poor yeah. souls. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah oh, I like that. God. That's a good way to do it. Okay. Um, ending ending TBD's turn. It is now Aramir's turn. Oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, Hustling against 35. Hustling giant. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kind of running over. Seeing the other one over there. Yep. Uh, I'm going to Sorry. first hex it. Okay. Um, nice. As kind of like these like tendrils of lightning kind of wrap up from the shadows and start to like pull and shock into You the see the uh, the blue lightning of Aramir's uh, maul that usually red course lightning. red lightning. Uh, the lightning that is running across the That's the right. body of this creature goes from this green to a red sporadically as it begins to like slow down and like start to move a little bit slower uh, due to the curse that is now taking you said, you said red its, bo- yeah. its body. Like Life from the Queen? <laughs> Ka-chow. 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 <laughs> red lightning, baby. And then I'm going to Cast Eldritch Blast on. What do you say when you cast Eldritch Blast? It will treat me. I don't. It's Kachow. I love how little Will uh, <laughs> makes these really cool things, and we just have to find the thing wrong. He's like Red Lightning. Oh, Lightning McQueen. I have a homunculus. Oh, my homunculus. Like, <laughs> no, it's not what I'm doing. We ruined his campaign too. Yeah, 100. percent We did with his father. That's why I homunculus. left. God. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> he didn't even apply to college until we're like, oh, nice homunculus. Twenty-two in the in first. Uh, Twenty-two <laughs> hits. And then that one probably doesn't hit. That's a nine. Nine does not hit. Uh, so the first amount of damage is plus yeah, a this D6. This feature called Power of Friendship. Everything is all right on this turn. Ooh. Nice. Oh, wow. That's Come max. On, dude. That's so good 16. Defense. Jeez, 16 good points job. of damage. Wait, Wait, warlocks are doing What did you say that was? Huh? You said it was max? Yeah. Six, six necrotic, by the way. Six necrotic and ten force, right? Uh, I think so. Yes. Six necrotic, ten force. Because yeah. types matter, especially against these guys. True, true. Okay. Is that any turn? Uh, yes, I cannot do anything. Okay. Oh, I I could also choose a disadvantage on this guy. Sure. Disadvantage on strength. Easy enough to do. Oh, that's really good. Uh, okay, ending your turn. It is now the flux charger's turn. He's gonna. Flux it's gonna go ahead and turn <laughs> as the red and green lightning scatters across his body. It, it flexes its arms. And you watch as it, <laughs> the lightning appears even brighter as it go. It's gonna <clears throat> go ahead and uh, lumber forward uh, to about uh, five. 10, 15, 20, right about there. So like here? Uh, no, back one. Thank you very much. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and uh, it's going to go ahead and arc lightning as it brings its hands out so and cool. slams them together and you watch as right. the green lightning <laughs> scatters out and goes first for Kenneth. Bean. Wait, it doesn't make swamp? Um, so you're the, are you the it does not make a swamp. Okay, okay, that's a red thing then. That's I'm a red thing. Oh my God. Um, that is an 18 to hit. That'll do it. Okay. I'll put it. At least he has to roll to hit, at least. Um, at least it's not a deck save. That's yeah. true. Okay, so you I would take... I would prefer that, though. Yeah, like Actually, him. no, not a deck save. Because you still have a dookie for Yeah, that. I mean, both. Uh, so. You will take 18 <laughs> points of lightning damage. How much? 18. 18 points oh, of lightning damage. Oh, what? <laughs> um... Oh my oh, gosh, that's half the HP. <laughs> As it hits her, it immediately, like, courses across her body and then explodes outwards and hits anything else. Uh, in a certain range, so that means Ormir and TBD. I need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Dex saves. You're You're matching matching the does. elements and you use lightning. You wait, guys yeah, both wait, dude, wait. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Is that nine? Uh-huh. Redirect it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. You're the avatar. Just redirect it, man. Yeah, come on. <laughs> roll it across your shoulders. Don't let it go through your heart, though. Yeah. Uh, Ormir, what'd you roll? Nine. Uh, you will take. So that was a failure. That was kind of cool. Maybe. Honestly. That was higher, too. <laughs> take no, that uh, eight, 18. 18. Uh-huh. So you succeed, so you take half damage. So, Aramir, you will take uh, 17 points of lightning damage. Uh, TVD, you will oh. take uh, 8 points of lightning mm-hmm. damage. Ow. This is where the um, we could run. We die in the training room. As it, uh, as it does so, you watch as it as it pulls its hands apart. You watch the electricity coursing not only across its arms and uh, attaching a limb, but it runs across its body for a second as the whole thing shudders for a moment before recharging uh, and gaining uh, its senses again. At least you were gaining HP. I was like, bro, no, I cannot. I could <laughs> do, what is a concentration? What do I roll for concentration? Con, a concentration? That would be con. 
Okay. And you have to beat your damage. Which so is, I just have to do ten because the, it's the lowest you can do is ten. Uh, I well, thought doesn't it just go? Yeah, to yeah, it's yeah. half the damage. So ni- it was nineteen. So yeah, yeah it would just yeah, be ten. Just ten. Frick me. Damn. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, hex or yep, hex is gone. Damn. It. As the hex of the red lightning dissipates, ah, uh, no longer good attached good to this creature. Uh, <laughs> Thulgrin, you are up, sir. Good job. Good job. Thulgrin. All right. Um. Ouch. I Zeph, am you'll going be sh- to... Ouch. Zeph, you'll be coming up here pretty quickly. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use yeah, okay. dash. Okay. And then I'm going to go... So dash will give you twice your movement speed. I don't need it. I'm going to actually go right here. Okay. So not using mm-hmm. dash, you'll use your 30 feet? 25? Uh, that'd be 30 feet. 30 feet? Okay. Mm-hmm. So you 30 feet of movement, rushing up well, behind... Well, it's still, it's still dash, unfortunately. I only have twenty five. Okay. Oh, and I needed thirty. Oh, so you got. Oh, so you did use your dash. Yes, action. so I did okay. use my dash. Okay, so you run up behind Kenneth Small there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, as a short king, uh, <laughs> as a bonus action, bonus short action, short, short, short. I am going to cast uh, warding bond. Okay. On Kenneth. Sure. Let's go. Make sure you stay within sixty feet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's you guys love right so yeah. It says you gain uh, one uh, uh, point uh, to your AC. Ooh. And it says That's really and, good. Uh, mm-hmm. you now have resistance to all damage. Whoa! That's OP. Okay. That's what? great. Okay. Two, 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 uh, grasping the, uh, what, the amulet brandished. within his breastplate, you watch as the emblazoned hammer upon his uh, chest glows with this... Fo- with this uh, uh, this bright white light uh, that fills the room a little bit, um, and it, it emboldens, not emboldens, but it, it bonds uh, Kenneth and makes her feel a little bit safer, as uh, she's now protected by a warding bond. I um, feel a lot safer. There you go. Um, okay, end of Fulgrim, is at the end of your turn? Yes, it is. All right, end of your turn. It is now the other automaton's turns. Uh, so the green one to the far uh, right of my vision, mm-hmm. uh, it's going to go ahead and move itself up uh, as far as it can uh, into that group of people. So right about there, I would say, okay. ish. Well, that was 15. Sure, 15 feet. Okay. That'll, that'll work for now. It's peeking um, around the corner. About to freaking deck me. It's going to go ahead and uh, as the... Uh, it's going to go ahead. Actually, uh, as the energy is charging across his body, it's going to go ahead and just uh, you watch his arms extend further out, creating these longer kind of like poles. And it's just going to go ahead and swing them both down and try to hit uh, first one on uh, TBD, the other one on Kenneth, as they're both within range of the attack. Makes sense. Makes sense. First attack on TBD, that's a 19. Just, being just out of range. Uh, yep. Okay. I'm at 19 to hit. So you will take. Uh, uh, what's that? Dex save, yeah? Nope. Wait, oh. How does deflect missiles work again? Uh, that's if so it's a ranged attack. Yeah, it's this is not a ranged attack, this is a large club coming at your face. Okay. Could you um, kind of deflect missiles on like a, if there was like a great axe being thrown at you? If it's a missile, yes. Yes. If it's, it's a ranged throwing, attack. That's yes. a missile. Um, as soon as it leaves their hands, it's a missile. 11 place. points of bludgeoning damage to you, TBD. Uh, uh, Kenneth. We're like, uh, that is going to be a 9. I uh, miss for yeah. sure. So it swings and you're able to dodge out of the way as it slams into the ground, uh, debris flying into the air from the impact. Um, as that's going to end its turn. How do you take this, um, this one's trophy? Next yeah. one is going to be Some the block. the blue automaton as it uh, immediately begins to charge energy around its body and expel mm-hmm. that energy in a sudden burst of boom, um, electric energy. It's going to cast Thunder Wave. Oh, so I need... Nice. Please stop. Um... Let me see. <laughs> it's not going to bother you. Uh, 15 <laughs> foot cube, so that's going to touch all four of those people. Is it? Because um, it chooses where it places it. Oh. So dropping it on Kenneth and a 15 foot cube, so three spaces away from Kenneth. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Would hit all three of them. No, so basically, really does. Uh, for, for a little bit of flavor, you watch as it launches this orb of energy out of its chest, <laughs> out into the space around you guys before it explodes uh, with a thunderous force. I need all of those people in that space to make a constitution saving. Is this considered Ooh. a missile? No, a it's not. 20. Success. Oh, God. That is bad. That's cocked, oh, yeah. Shoot. <laughs> oh my. I mean, I thought. 
I mean, it was like on like the like curve. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna call it that. That's twenty-two. Whatever. Success. Yeah. Uh, also, wait, no, twenty. Yeah, 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 success. <laughs> TBD. Finally do it. Does a nat one do it? It does not do it. So, everyone who succeeded, you will take six points of thunder damage. TBD, you will take 12 points of thunder damage. Oh, good. Oh, (laughs) Almost down. I'm at 30. Okay. End of its turn. It's going to go ahead and uh, use its uh, bonus action to you watch as it's its uh, arms begin to pop out in front of it and the lightning begins to arc across the front of it as it seems to take a more defensive stance. Uh, now seeing who Ooh. is standing in front Turns of it. Turns his card sideways. Uh, Zeph, you are up uh, with Kenneth on deck. Dude, like, dude, do you want to tell him? Smoke. You can tell him. Glyph rolled the 11, not the 10. He's got wings, dude. It's so easy to differentiate this. <laughs> Cliff rolled it. Oh, because it put you at a 1 instead of an 11. That would make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> so now Glyph is up with Zeph on deck. Right, uh, cool. Hey, uh, Zeph, remember how we've only ever messed with one of these at a time? Yeah! <laughs> right, okay. Uh, and I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30 feet. Uh, and pothole <laughs> is kind of just gonna mirror me. You mm-hmm. see, <laughs> he'll throw a yell sure. from the back. Like, That's what happens when you press all the buttons. <laughs> As he's getting battered by the <laughs> I love it. Um, and then I really don't know what I want to do. Um, uh, for Get over here. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's uh, yeah. I'm gonna look at uh, pothole real quick, and I'm gonna grab out my uh, spyglass as I just finish a real quick inscription and just stare at him through a spyglass. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna megazord pothole and enlarge him. Yeah, okay. I was gonna do it to someone else, but everyone else is too far away. So now okay. pothole yeah. is normal sized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you uh, you nod to Pothole and very Transformer style. He and gets bigger and is now human sized. No, I look at him through the spyglass. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you look at him and now he's bigger, but yeah. he's actually bigger in real life. Boop. That yeah, is, large. That's okay. like 40 feet in the air. Um, so maybe just need a like bigger a dice instead of using <laughs> that. He has evolved. <laughs> he's a D6. <laughs> From a D4 to a D6. Yeah. All right. Cube. Should have done it. Uh, yep, and then there's a bonus section. Uh, there's Stop. not really anything else I could do. I case to spill, so I'm kind of about tipped out on what I can do. Okay. Um. So yep, that's that's it. Sure. Oh, okay. Ending. Uh, Glyph's turn. Zeph, you're up. Cool. I'm not gonna ask for too much for this. I um, doubt it, but go ahead. Here we go. Here we go. Uh. Well. So. <sighs> since he casts Mage Armor. At will, and mm-hmm. since he has this kind of tweaked um, packed boon, uh, packed weapon, sure, um, it's Ambiguous. an action to cast the packed weapon. Technically, yes. Um, will you allow him to do both? Like and do what with it? Mage weapon, just, packed armor. Just, just kid himself out. Just he's just casting the armor. What and, weapon are you casting? And the weapon. His his typical like grapple grapple daddy. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's typical go go like, so two, 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 like, uh-huh. chance to swarm into any two other like weapon. grapple knives. He actually has a star bomba. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, like gr- grapple knives on chains. You haven't um, grapple you knives haven't tested, on chains. You haven't tested the patience of this game yet tonight. So uh-huh. I will. You know what? What uh, the fuck? You, fu- <laughs> you, you will what get two actions. That? Nice. Uh, <laughs> as opposed to an action and a bonus action. Um, <sighs> <laughs> Michelle, has he ever you granted not, you that sort you of clemency? No. Michelle, you haven't tested my patience yet tonight, so it's I'll true. eat you away with this shenanigans. The destroyer of the action. My family's a family of gypsies. This is how we do things. You no offense to anyone who was actually ethnically gypsy. That no, was not. nothing, not, not at all. Not at all. Um, Thank you. But yeah, I mean, you have not because you asked not, so you know what, Drew? Go ahead and put on mage armor and a packed weapon. Fine, I'm asking for 20 hit points back. <laughs> <laughs> that I can't allow. I'll um, take 10. So, so I appreciate 20. So he's going to yell back at, at uh, Glyph. 
El Moreldi never let us do this. Let's kill them all. And he just like yeah. waves his hands enthusiastically over himself, like gliss lighting up every yeah. everywhere. Hey, He's yeah. just hey, like, we'll take class into bar, please. It would fit you so much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Glyph like like takes down the spyglass that he was just using for a second, and it's like. Who's El Moreldi? <laughs> Elmer. I'm excited! I'm not pronouncing things right! Okay. <laughs> what is this is the first time I've ever cast both of these at one time! Is your okay. cousin Elmer Eldi? <laughs> Uh, Zef, that is the end of your Emerald. turn. Can it oh, God. Are, he gets to move. Finally, finally. Okay, all right. So the little blue, the blue one in front of me, I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus action to uh, activate Slayer's Prey. Sure. Um, basically, it just gives me an extra D6 to damage. Absolutely. Nice. Good. Nice. Good right. Good job, Brian. Um, we'll, uh, we'll try to Same shoot him with the musket. That's, that's the guy who doesn't have a charged up chest, right? Mm. Charged up chest is the this guy. Oh, well, is that, well, the is it, that's the one that has the, the arms. His up. arms were up, and he's yeah. got like he's lightning defense. streaking across them. Spider's defense mode. Other two are in attack mode. Sure. Uh, yeah, good. we'll still do yeah. it. That's fine. So you're going to one fire at the blue two. automaton. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you play magic. So you are using the Correct. musket. Yes. Okay. Probably so you use your proficiency in that because you are proficient with this weapon. Yeah. Um, you must fire at disadvantage though because it has taken a defensive stance to impose this disadvantage on dodge. Okay. Basically. Yeah. yeah. I believe you. Two natural twenties. <laughs> Two natural. What? Dude, I believe so in that much. timeline. Uh, no, disadvantage really kicked my... Oh, actually... Took us? No, I can't do that. I'm inspired. Could I... <laughs> you have my inspiration? Yeah. You absolutely from can like, use that. Okay, yeah. okay, I'm going to try it one more time. Mm-hmm. Your will just one die. Yeah. Because yep. the other one was a 2 and a 16. Son of a bitch, it's a 2 again. Damn All right. right. Uh, I'm assuming 11 doesn't hit. So you used... You using the DM's inspiration... Yeah. That would negate your disadvantage. Oh, then it would have. Just... Then it would have been a sixteen. See, I'm nice to you too. Thanks. So it would have been the sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Michelle will remember this. <laughs> it would have been nicer if you oh, hadn't guilted him, though. <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> okay. Um. So if that'll hit. Next turn. That. Ooh. So what turn? Two to twelve plus four, sixteen, and, uh, nineteen points of damage. So you fire the musket, and you watch as it fires past the ele- electronic barrier that this uh, automaton had up, and blasts the shoulder off of it, causing one of the arms to sag before the lightning reconnects and begins to pull it back up. But the whole thing staggers um, as it is immensely damaged from all of those shots. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25. Okay, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. Scoot back as well. That's my turn. Okay. Scoot <laughs> Do the old okay. ski daddle. And uh, Kenneth's turn. It goes back to the top of the round with Lucius Kane on top. TBD, you're uh, on deck. Okay, let me see how this works. Mm. More like Lucius Payne. Uh, More like Lucius Payne. More like. Lucius Payne. I mean, more like Payne. Watch my friends get their asses kicked. My cocaine. Uh, I dropped down. My cocaine. Mm-hmm. Five. <laughs> Uh, 5'10", I assume sure. it's dropping down. Yep, 5'10", uh, 15, 20, 25. Uh, right here, right? I yep. discount it. Yeah. Uh, 30. Is everything within 30 feet of me? 5'10", 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, that's 30 feet of me. Sick. Um, where's everybody? That is Kid. That yep. is mm-hmm. armor. This is Tolgren. That's yep. me in the green. And that's Zeph up top, so he's out of range of... Damn, this, oh, this sucks, because I can't really do anything. I need range. Um, I think Lucius is going to just the keep on doing stink. damage the then. Um, I'm going to bonus action hex. Um, yeah. Green goblin. Green guy. The green automaton? Green automaton. Okay, yeah. I'm going to hex him. Give disadvantage on uh, strength stuff. Does he roll or does that just happen? It just happens. Okay, so you cast hex and you give disadvantage on which roll? Uh, on strength. Strength. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna drop it as soon as uh, I get closer. But all right, I'm just trying to do damage. Uh, I'm gonna make two attacks against him. Go ahead and roll the attacks, please. Natural one. That misses. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. Uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Now that's that's damage. the number I can give you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh. And eight points of force damage. Eight points of force uh, damage. Yeah, sorry. Seven points of force damage, uh, one point of necrotic that matters. Thank you. 
Um, bonus action. I do think it's my bonus action. I'm gonna, uh, as a bonus action, I'm just gonna prep something for my next turn of what I'm planning. I'm just gonna Absolutely. whip out the regeneration potion and put it in my hand. Absolutely, you can do that. Okay. No problem. And that's uh, my turn. End of your turn, TBD. You are up. Uh, I'll remove you're on deck. Um, this will be pretty simple. So I'm almost dead, but sure. I'm still gonna try to like just stab the thing okay. before I do something else. Uh, so I have a short sword. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, no, that won't hit. Okay, right. another so nat one. You swing at the short sword and it <laughs> scrapes off so uh, nice. the hard oh, exterior of this creature. Then I'll try it again because I can attack twice. Okay, yeah. roll again. Why? No. That would only be a 12. 12 does not hit. Cool. You strike two times, but it just glances off the hard exterior of this thing, unable to penetrate uh, or do anything about it. And then I will Misty Step. Do they get an attack on Misty Step? Nope. No, they don't. Oh. Oh. I'll just go back here. So as you uh, as you begin to summon the air around you, mm-hmm. you watch as the one in front, the blue atom in front of you swings and tries to like clap you with both of its hands, and you <laughs> disappear in a puff of air and reappear uh, short, uh, not too far away. I need help. <laughs> uh, can I kind of do something as a free as action? blood is dribbling out of his mouth? Can, from- can Lucius like just not say anything or? To be like, hey, and like shake the regeneration potion that's in his uh, hands. Sure. Uh, it says. Potency question mark, but oh. it's a regeneration potion. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So Lucius like holds up a potion for you. Basically. Okay. What does that do? I, it, well, you, you have to drink. You haven't drank yet, so. Oh. Do, have you see. used your movement? Huh? Have you used your movement? No. No. You could come over to me and I can. Oh, that's true. He just teleported. He has already used his bonus action. Yeah, but that's not movement. Just, though. Movements, movements are relevant. Move sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll move. Okay. okay. I'm just saying, if he wanted to drink okay. the yeah, potion, yeah. he wouldn't be able. Um, okay, so end of TBE's turn is now Ormir's turn uh, with Fulgrin. You are up here pretty quick. 5, 10, 15, 20, I'm guessing, to kind of like squeeze past. Uh, you would have to do, to like, that's a fully intact pillar, so you would have to use an, uh, acrobatics or athletics to get over it mm. while in range of this creature. So I was here? Yeah. Uh, 5, 10, 15. 20, 25, 30. I'm just going to move around. You go on the outside of the pillar, yeah. right? Okay. Swooping around. Sure. Um, and then kind of as I'm running around, claw my arm. Sure. Lightning yeah. on the mall. Uh, two attacks. All right. Go ahead and take your two attacks. Okay. That's a 20. That's a 23. 23 hits. Uh, 12. 12 does not hit. What? Uh... 76, right? Yeah. Okay. So for the mall damage, mm-hmm. six points of bludgeoning. Okay. And then two points of lightning. All right. Okay. So you smash damage into it, uh, ch- taking out a chunk um, as you do so. Um, okay. Is that any sure? Any uh, bonus action? Nothing? Uh, well, my bonus action was to Crimson Right. Crimson Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. At the end of the turn, it is now uh, the Red Automaton, the Flux Charger's turn. Yeah. It is going to go ahead uh, and barrel towards. Um, hmm. Let me think. Can't see me. <laughs> um. It's going to go ahead and move towards. Um, Fulgrim. Okay. Um, charging straight for him. Uh, it stops and then looks up and registers uh, the draconian who is currently across the hall, uh, which would be Glyph, and uses the rest of its movement to charge towards Glyph using a dash action to get all the way up there. Hmm. Uh, I'm fucking going to take a of opportunity from uh, from Kenneth if you certainly want to and from, do this. Oh, and from for sure. Yeah, sure. Hell yeah, Jackson. Natural twenty. Ooh, that's a seventeen plus nine. <clears throat> also, is Balefire on this list? Uh, Balefire is still like in the corner, <laughs> like in his own world. In his own little world, no one has said anything wow. to him, so he is it's not. It's a. Was it not somebody should 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Like a, you feel like this goes without saying. Well, there's violence. I don't have anything else equipped. You don't. They're all just going on. Yeah. <laughs> Kenneth doesn't have anything uh, melee equipped or anything that she could whack him with. So it's just like, a, hit him with the butt of the gun. <laughs> so you so. swung. Just shoot just him, but roll. Just try and trip it. So I get to do that. Yeah. Can you? Within five feet, it's disadvantage. It's an opportunity attack. Yeah. It's opportunity. So you just swung and. Punched it. That's all I can do. So you would just roll a d20 and add your strength modifier. Yeah, I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. It hits. It's a 21. It's pretty sure. Oh, 19 plus. I rolled a 17. Well, 17. And it's plus 4. To your for strength? An, for an, an arm strike. That's oh, okay. what it said. <laughs> yeah. It's a damage. All right, so how much damage? Two points of damage. Two points of damage. Hell yeah, yeah. you're strong. So beefy. All right. Fulgren, did you roll uh, attack of opportunity? Uh, what did we get close? Yeah, I guess we did yeah, get you close did. enough. Yeah, you did. Yeah, bro. Uh, what a dumb. Uh, Twelve. Twelve does not hit. Um, it's going to rush up to um, Glyph, and it is going to go ahead, and uh, it's going to overcast. What? No overcasting. And Cold front. Um, yeah. basically, as it runs up to you, it's going to fire um, in the process of moving up to you. So not in, as it's as it's making its movement, mm-hmm. um, you watch mm-hmm. as one of the arms opens and these gouts of fire boom fire off uh, at you with the lightning leaping off of its body and okay. charging the fire as it shoots out at you. Right on. Um, these like cylinders that are filled with this weird arcane fire uh, launching from its shoulder <laughs> at you. Mm. So it's going to make its spell attacks. Yeah. You know, the indie fire. band, Arcane Fire. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. That's going to be a unnatural 20. Okay. Um, cylinders uh, with Arcade Fire coming. Okay, tonight. yeah, that'll hit. Okay. Second attack is going to be a, a 22. And that'll hit as well. So wait, he's firing that at... You're putting a lot of Drew flavor on these attacks. Mm-hmm. Mm. So does he run, stop, shoot, run? <laughs> In his running motion, he's doing this. Yeah, That's running. right. <laughs> that is That's right. something you would only let Drew do. Nope. No, that, that happens. That's why so I'm, about, I'm about, about to do it. I'll show yeah. you. I'm okay, about yeah. to do we'll it. Let anybody do them if they want yeah. to. That, that's game mechanics, man. Do you, do you think that if you have a gun... You can only fire it when you're not running. I feel it's like a big gun. Oh, sure. that's a disadvantage. <laughs> okay. Uh, unless you you're specify. Probably. I mean, you want me to do a disadvantage? I'll do it. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're okay. Fine. He just want, He just wanted to poke. No, Third attack is fine. a I'm sixteen. Uh, that does not hit. Okay. Just side arming a fifty cal. Is he stiff arming a fifty cal? No. Side arming. The idea of stiff arming a fifty cal is the funniest shit. He just runs straight at it. Stop. Arm gets blown off. So the first, the first one that hits you does seventeen points of fire and thunder damage collectively, unless one of those is reduced. Nailed it. Uh, and the other one the is 12 oh. points of collective fire and thunder damage. I'm glad I'm super beefy. That's 29 points damage. 29 points? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Yep. As it finishes its volley and charges towards turn you. Off, turn off, turn um, I need... <laughs> Glyph, I need you to make a perception check for me. Okie dokie. It has a big red button on the back of it. That's uh, natural 18 minus natural. 2, I think. 16. Natural 18. As it turned and registered you in the arena, oh, sorry, plus three. you noticed <clears throat> there was a faint uh, flash of uh, purple root across its chest before it began to move uh, towards you. Sporadic and uh, dim, uh, but it did seem to register some sort of a reactiveness to you specifically. Mm-hmm. So... Cool. Um, That's all right. But I'm that is pull, all you're you're you yep. murder. Right I'm going to trade pot holding for this thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so end of it its turn. It is now like Fulgren's like turn. Whoops. All right. Um, I am going to take a couple of steps back. To okay. To about here. Sure. And then I am going to... I guess we're going to cast Bane. Nice. That's what I was going to do. I guess. 
Uh, so, yeah, charisma saving throw. It's fun while you have to talk in the Bane voice for the rest of the night. <laughs> no Bane. And that's how I have to talk in the rest of the night. It's the only thing it does. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Three creatures you choose. Um, so within 30 feet, so are you able to catch the other uh, two automatons? I, or I was going to say, you, you probably separate. cast them and move back. <sighs> well... I did move back and I thought it, I forgot that it was. I mean, if they're all within 30 feet of where you are standing, then it does count. It doesn't like specifically it say like isn't. an area. It's just three creatures. Six squares. Six squares. So, um. You could, like, I mean, you get two if you go up forward where you were and cast. Yeah. I'll yeah. just stay put. Oh. And then that way I will at least get these two and then. Yeah. Yeah, 30. So all of them. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right, so charisma saving throws, you said? Yes. All right. Because they are very charismatic, obviously. Uh, that is a 10. Nope. Second. That is a 17. Yep. And that is a uh, 3 minus 3, so zero. Oh. <laughs> but he's just dead. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so you bane the... Uh, the blue automaton and the red automaton. Nice. nice work. The green one is impervious to your Bane spell. Okay. It looks really cute. Its charisma score is really high. The green one's bad at access. No, it just ruled really well, even though it was a negative three to its roll. Yeah. Um, no, that'd be it for right now. Okay. So, ending Fulgren's turn, it is now the green automaton's turn. Oh. Uh, after being struck by... Uh, Oromir, it spins around, not turning in place, but its whole upper body pivots behind uh, and sees you. And it's going to go ahead and... It just reverses itself? Uh, yes. That's awesome. It's going to go ahead and do... Give me just a second. It puts its thing down. It nope, it's just it. going to go ahead and take two, uh, <laughs> two striking attacks against you. Cool. Uh, the first one is a 16 to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. The second one is a uh, also a sixteen minute. Mm-hmm. Okay. So nice. it's gonna be Ooh. Ooh. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning on the first one. Uh huh. And eleven points on the second one. Okay. <laughs> you know that hurts a little bit. Okay, so from my knowledge, there's three people right now that are in the red. Okay. And uh, uh -huh. its turn, the uh, no, like everyone's at one HP. Cosmotronic blast one is gonna <laughs> go, and it is going to. Hmm. <laughs> it's gonna move forward, rush forward at Thulgren. So it's gonna take all of its strides towards it Thulgren. Like the fast spider thing. TPK this time stands for training. Um, and it's gonna go ahead and unleash Warhammer uh, attacks on you, Thulgren. Forty k. Uh, that is a natural one. That's nice. That's what we like. And that is a uh, 14 to hit. Nope. So as it rushes Sick. forward, mm -hmm. actually, those kinds of chaos for a nat 20. Um, so as it rushes forward, it swings down with the hammers, <laughs> smashes into the ground next to you, stands up again, and goes to like swing at you, and you immediately notice sidestep out of the way. But for some reason, as it does, its body stops, flashes bright green, and spins and brings a backhand across your face that you were not expecting. Um, <clears throat> and it's going to go ahead and do its damage. That is so rude. I heard it say... Uh, <laughs> you heard it say uh, that, though? That you is, heard it say that? That is 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Did you uh, remember oh. your veins? Minus a d4 <laughs> would have been a... Uh, so totally it would have been a nat 20 plus 4, 24, minus... At best, minus 4. Yeah. Which is just still yeah that's minus that's 1, that's 23. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Still good. I forget Ouchie. sometimes that toys are really is good. Is concentration? It is concentration. It is concentration. Yeah. So I need, Fulgren, I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Shit. Has and you have to done? do what? Damage has already been done. Yeah, yeah it's 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, oh, so oh. you need to roll... 10. <laughs> yeah, 10. Or 10. You need to roll a constitution saving throw and beat a 10. Yeah. Otherwise your hex is gone. Bane. Bane. 13. Bane. You're fine. Yeah. Bane is just hex for religious people. Um, okay. So you are, you maintain concentration on the Bane uh, as it 
is going to go ahead. And as it finishes its two slams on you, you watch as it kind of stands back again and brings its arms up, uh, reactivating the uh, electronic shield, uh, taking the defensive stance. Yeah. Damn, what a little... He's a camper, bro. Um, okay. End of your turn. Glyph, you are up. Zephyr on deck. Right. Uh, okay. Um, I'm just going to look at plot hole and I'm going to say, hey, you know your magic hand? Uh, punch it in the chest with your magic hand. Mm -hmm. So he's going to use the fist of magic displacement. Sure. Try and punch that thing in the faint glowing orb. Okay. In his orb? Yeah. Right in his orb. That's a natural fitting. Uh, 15 Plus. does not hit. Plus, what? sorry, I wanted, I didn't want to have to look up his stats. <laughs> but now that I know it didn't hit, I will look up that it is a 15 plus. What is the plus? 50. Um, 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 65. Where does it say? Da, da, da. It doesn't say what I add to it for his for him to hit. Does he have multi? Does he have multi stack? No. Then, uh, but it has force and power rend right here. Okay, then that's. But it doesn't say what uh, you add to it. Uh, your, sorry, attack your spell attack modifier. Good yeah. call. Thank you. Uh, which is I think either plus plus seven. So twenty. That'll no, definitely hit. Gosh. Okay, cool. Great roll. Nice, nice. Uh, ten points of damage it's plus force damage. magical displacement. Whatever that does. Or it does the shut off. This is what the dwarves gave us. He punches it in the glowing glyph on his chest. You gave him the gauntlet? Yes, because I just listened to episode 28. Fall oh, product. true. I, I remember. Well, you you used the gauntlet to open the chest not too long ago, so... Oh. Yeah, maybe the charger... To open the, the, the sh chest of shards. So I'm trying to figure if you gave it back to him or not. After? I feel like he had it the whole time. I would, have you had, I would have told him you to. You had the use metal it. case and then you sent him to put the glove on and touch it. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Did well, I mean, that. he had it before then, so I would okay, have just given him right back to Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I'm here for that. Okay. Just want to make sure. I, otherwise, I can punch Story it. Storytelling. Oh, Storytelling. I can. I can <laughs> if you want me to I'm punch it, I can of punch course it. You, of course, you gave it back okay. to him. I'm not going to okay. do, do that to you. He <laughs> spent the whole night being like, that's not fair. And then the one time he uh -huh. doesn't, I'm like, no, yep. you can't do that. Uh, need we revisit three years ago? <laughs> no, we do not need to revisit. You're fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Slowly revisit. You're technically, he's technically inside the automaton. He can't punch it. Yes, and Calvin. Yes, and. Go ahead and roll... Um, yes, and. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yes, and. So you, you roll 10 points of damage on that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give the 10 points of damage on that one. Um, I think it's As it punches, it's you damage. watch as the glyph uh, sparks and dissipates for a moment. I need you to go ahead and roll a d10 to see how many rounds it dissipates. Oh, uh, so it's, d, it's d4 uh, in combat. D4 combat? Okay. That's yeah. really good. One. 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 Shit. So for one round. Damn it. Yeah. Um, it ain't nothing. It it's stops not looking at you and begins to slowly turn and survey the rest of the room, no longer intently focused on you. I need you to make a perception oh. check for me. Okay, yep. Uh, 21. 21. 20. 20. There's another glow that dissipated when he punched that. That happened simultaneously off of the corner of your eye that you didn't see before, but you see it now. Right next to where Balefire is sitting, there is a small orb of purplish color that is embedded in the wall um, that is no longer glowing, that was seemingly sporadically glowing at the same time that the glyph in its chest was. But that is what you know. Okay, cool. Uh, well, then I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I'm going to shoot it. Okay. That glow orb. Sure, go ahead and roll an attack. Glow orb. Lord. Mm. I'm gonna use my second attack. Sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, the first one was 14, the second one was 12. I mean, they both hit. Okay, look at that. No, let's go. You never know. So this one how does Bellfire react to that? Who's sitting right next to it, I guess? Or who is this? That's Bellfire. Uh, 18 points of damage to the oh, he'll board. He'll definitely react to it because now someone just shot at him. Yeah. Well, I'm glad he uh, did something for God's sakes. Uh, no. He, uh, He's gonna explode and die. Okay, so yeah, cool. it hits and you watch as it strikes across this stone surface, causing these scratches to appear across it. Uh, does not break it uh, by any means, but it definitely impacted on it. Uh, Balefire looks up and he's like, what the hell are you doing? And he sees everything and goes, oh shit, who turned those on? Hi, you want to push the button that's right next to you? Uh, and he turns over looks at it and goes, I show a button. <laughs> this caused an idiot. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, that, that's all I can is do. Is that all you say? Okay. You push it. 
Uh, all right, Zeph, you are up with Kenneth on deck. Okay. Uh, so Zeph is going to shout down, Bilfa, join us! This is so much fun! We never got to do this before! As some of us are literally, literally dying, dying from Yeah, you. literally dying from this. Dude, you have 19 just, HP, she's got, like, she's got 10 HP. Whatever. Yeah. And then he's going to fire two Eldritch Blast at the first... Uh, the guy that he was just in, uh, that, that the red lift was just. You can say the yeah. color. That's how I color. The red lift. Yeah. The red lift. All right. Um, is eighteen good? Eighteen hits. Right. Nice. So that one will be um, four. <laughs> four okay. points. Four. Sure. Okay, that's another hit with twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. And that one is ten points. Hey. Uh, ten points of damage. As you is that all. I mean, that's those two. How many do you have more? Yeah. Well, I get, I get two attacks. Oh. Two cool. Yeah, so you, get oh. Two, you get two Eldritch um, Blasts. You no, I get two attacks. I have a feat. I get two oh. attacks. Right um, <laughs> you fire the, the two shots, and you watch as it strikes across the body, the energy immediately dissipating from this creature as it <laughs> clatters to the ground, uh, no longer active as Which it lays there. Which one are you firing at? The red one. The red one. So this one deactivated? Yep. Mm. Oh, I knew we could do it! And he turns and aims at the green guy. Okay, go ahead and roll your tax. Okay, nice that one was, that last one was... 14 plus. So. For, plus eight. Eight. Oh, 22. 22 hits. Two. Oh, two. <laughs> two. Is he dead? No. Ah! <laughs> uh, another 22. 22 hits. 22s. And five. Okay. Green. 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 Does a does that thing actually look de- decommissioned or is it like it is no there's no longer energy coursing across it. It's just now chunks of stone laying on the ground. Okay, my friends are bleeding out. Okay. <laughs> End of Zeph's turn. Kenneth, you are up. Alright, let's go. And that's my turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lucius, you're on deck. No. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, you're right, you're right, immune I'm to damage. Let's do something. Right? All right. She's not immune yeah. to damage. Well, yeah, you know. That's okay. literally what it says. Resist. Um, Resist. I'm going to go ahead Resist and shoot damage. greeny. Shoot at, no, bluey. Blue. Okay. Uh, Pop smurfs in a different word. That's great. Also, I realized uh, last turn that I have two attacks per sure. action, so I didn't do an attack one time, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just letting you know. So I'm going to shoot once. That's going to hit. Uh, shoot twice. That's a 17. That'll hit. Oh, it's about, the damage is about to be sick right now. Do those yeah. numbers, Kenneth. I have on, Kenneth. Monster Hunter. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Repeating rifle? Huh? It's a repeating rifle, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so no need have to, to re- reload. You have to reload. It. Okay. Let's Thank you. Because it's magically imbued my. Um, um, so that's nine tonight. points of damage on the first one. Sure. And let me check. Nineteen. Nine. nine oh. I wish. <laughs> oh. She. <laughs> she. Uh, the first time you hit that creature, I was checking the. To see if you could do it again. Yeah, Understandably. Yeah, yeah. Um, ten points of damage for that, mm-hmm. and then your girl's gonna get up and away and try to hide. Hey, over that way. You're not hiding. Behind That's not a thing. Yeah, it seems like it should be. That's the air. Be. It's not. It's just the air. Just so you know. Oh, um, was... You fire two <laughs> shots at uh, oh, yeah. the blue automaton. <laughs> it uh, clatters to the ground, energy dissipating from it yeah. um, yeah. as it sits there. Okay. Yeah, dead yeah spider. turn it upside down. Why so Matt, right. like, what were you firing that thing? <laughs> Top of the round, Lucius, you're up. Lucius, you. like, TBD on deck. Do I need to do Resistant. anything to give him the potion? Like, does it take action? Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Action. <laughs> no. Does I prepped it last round? I mean, he can just take it from me. Unless okay, you're doing cool. something you doing? extremely crazy. You're resistant. No. Drink it. It's that good for your bones. No. No. Get a lot of broken. I have to wait till my turn, though. You're vulnerable. Yep. Yeah, you're right after me. Yep. Slow motion. Lucius sees, like, uh, two decommissioned things. How does arm? How do you look? How does armor look? Just give me. A I'm behind a pillar. Oh, you are. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move uh, towards the left. Sure. To get. Actually, I'll go to the right to get visual clarity to see where he is. Oh. Oh, I can't okay. see him. Yeah. Where's big automaton? Okay. Sorry, pillar. Hey, one tummy time. One tummy tongue. Can I still see him from this direction? <laughs> uh, Lucius? Or, yeah. or Armour? Uh, uh, if I can see Armour behind them all. Sure. If I can, I'll just attack. See a little yeah, piece of him peeking out between all of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does a little bit of him look? look like, 
dookie trash? Like, uh, I mean, I'm like <laughs> old, always kind of bloody, so I mean, I, it's hard to tell. I'm a little gonna, bit I'm, more bloody than normal. I'm just gonna uh, <laughs> more lion blood everywhere. I'm just gonna. I think it's better just to DPS in the food. It won't do damage to you like it being dead. So I'm gonna make attacks. Did you say DPS? Yeah. Damage, damage, per, damage per second. I play video games. Or damage per second. I rolled wizard. bad after saying that. Uh, that was a that was a eleven. <laughs> That's embarrassing. The dice is mad at you. Dude, you got my head. All right, fourteen to hit. Fourteen does hit. Hey, do you guys? Oh, know does it actually? What, nice. On this one, yes. What his blood type is? Uh, oh, mm. he's lion. O. Mm. What? Mm -mm. Sure. I'm no. actually going to change right now. my uh, Shut up. attacks for this next turn to go only. Uh, nine points of force damage. <laughs> How, How many? Keep nine. Going. Nine points worse damage. Very good. Um. No shame. Self load. I still have bonus action. <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna get a human potion out and just look around for people. Like okay. I'm not gonna do anything specific. I'm just gonna stand still and that's my turn. Absolutely. All right. End of your turn. TBD. You TBD. are up, sir. How does this potion work? You drink you it. Just drink it. You can bonus action drink it in this campaign, or is yes. It Rub it like a salve. So it takes a bonus action to drink it. Oh, okay. It just burns. Uh, it takes right. cool. He just pours it over his head. <laughs> takes a bite out of it. And then what do I roll for it? I don't know. It's Kelvin. I It says potion of regeneration, question mark, like in like potency, question mark. Oh, God. Potion of regeneration. <laughs> yeah, no, we're about to have it's, an Emperor's New Groove situation. He's going to get big and swole. This man put TBD a becomes like fermented spider eye. A, a full grown man. <laughs> <laughs> he is now determined. Uh, he is not determined yet. Yeah. I'm going to roll a d20 real quick. Ooh. Okay. A beholder power. eye just appears on the side of his face. Okay. Uh, TBD, can you please roll um, a d4 for me? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. It's counting rolls. Four. 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 Okay. Um, go ahead and also roll uh, 2d6. 2d6? Mm -hmm. Can I borrow a d6? Yes. Thank you. Uh, two and two, four. All right. So you regain four points of healing. Um, however, you immediately feel invigorated beyond uh, normalcy, um, as if steroids? you are, yeah, as, as if you are uh, ready to take a hit and keep on going. Um, whatever that means, depending on how this pans out as the fight continues. Is that um, you've, got, you've got like vague inspiration that Calvin will decide. <laughs> like, yeah. Lucius so, is a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got this potion. Mr. White. I will interpret that as Mr. White. I feel healthier than I actually am. Sure. So <laughs> TBD is gonna go. Punch move. Thanks. And then go past the air up to the creature. Of <laughs> course. Past the air. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Right. So he's uh, flanked. He's and flanked. since that yeah. wasn't my two actions, then I will two try to short sword stab this guy twice. Okay. Oh, go on the roll your two attacks. Shoulder. You get advantage on this as well. Because he's flanked. He is flanking, yes. So you advantage get advantage on your attacks. On both of them? Yep. Yes. Mm. No. Nope. No. Okay, so one of them, well. 15 plus. 12. Yeah, that isn't. Hit, right? A 12? Yeah. Wait, 12 is not hit. I thought that was a 15 you just rolled. No, he rolled a 5. Oh. That's 5. So oh. first attack fails. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Roll again, roll again. Natural see if you can get a roll. What's going on? No. 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 Mm. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and roll uh, for your short sword damage and double that. Uh, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 points of damage. Yep. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So you swing and carve into a chunk of this thing as it is... Uh, Harrowing uh, Uromir uh, on the other side. Is that your turn? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, Uromir, you are up. Not noticing what's happening around me since I'm very low on yeah. HPs. Uh, kind of like in final stand moment. Sure. Uh, Blood cursing this guy. Oh, I forgot to take damage from my blood maledict. Yeah, <laughs> and that's oh, not too well. Two damage. You to take? Oh. I mean, that's how. That's how. Uh, cool. And then I'm going to amplify my blood curse on him. Okay. Wait, do you also take Which damage? Which is the right? damage? Five points. I'm at five HP. Oh, oh my god! You knocked you out. Uh, <clears> I mean, and I'm just going to start blood wailing blood. on this thing. Like, okay. Go ahead and roll crazy. your attacks. Uh, I got a how many advantage. advantage? Uh, just two. Uh, so that's 21 for the That'll first hit. one. And 19 for the second. That'll also hit. Nice. nice. Go off armor. This is your army. This okay. The spotlight so is on you. For the normal maul damage, mm -hmm. 
it is seven points on the first attack and 11 on the second, and then lightning damage is seven, and then seven again, so 14 Ooh. points again. Wow. Good. Points of damage. How was total? Wow. Was total? I don't know if it was like 14 plus. Do you think wall damage is when you like yeah, 14 plus one, so 25? 25? 25. 25. And then you get like an damage. instant yep. headache. You begin to batter and smash yes. into this thing as hard as. Uh, Bodily possible, beginning to cause dents and cracks in its exterior. Um, it's it looks like it's taken a, a hit. Um, yeah. All right, that's is that all your turn. Do. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> End oh, of your turn. It is problem. now uh, the red automaton's turn. Uh, it its body lays dormant. <laughs> Lightning scatters across oh, its no. limbs as it begins to regain consciousness. Uh, <laughs> it is not up yet. Yes, yeah. but it is beginning. <clears throat> it spends its whole turn revitalizing. I see. I see. I see. Um, I see end of its turn. Fulgrin, you're up. A blue I screen appears across the chest. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blue screen death. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. It's the updating. I'm it's, going to see a small no mink crawl out and like plug it in. Plug uh, it in. Move five percent. You're ten percent. Turns it on and off again. Okay. Find this thing, and yep. then I'm yeah, going the to just presses this. Uh, Cast Compel Duel. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Holy fight me. And then I'm going to swing my great hammer twice. That's a 14. Is Compel Duel a bonus action or is it an action? Uh, it's a bonus action. Nice. Let's go. Uh, so what do, what, do I do anything to save from that? What is oh, the... Yeah, I think uh, please. So let's please. see here. Yes, you have to do a. Like, so let's do that. You have to do a uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh, DC is fourteen. Fourteen wisdom saving throw. Uh, has a negative one to nice. its wisdom <laughs> throws, so that is going to be is your minus one. Uh, a one. So it is cool to do. What do you yeah. say to compel it to duel you? Oh, here we go, Matt. <laughs> Look over here, you ugly bastard! <laughs> okay, there it you is. You also get advantage on your strikes because you're uh, flanking, too. Yeah, so uh, you that's swing a net away 20. With... Okay. Okay. We'll roll it again. Yeah, we'll again. See if you get another net 20. Yeah, Why please. Not? And then a 14. Nah. Okay, yeah. so next one. Second, right. second attack. So the first one's a critical. Second attack? For oh. use. Is it one thing? Mine's That's an eight. Add advantage. advantage. So. <laughs> That's a 16. Let's go. A 16 will also hit, so two attacks hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. So that is going to be 10 for the first one. 10 for the first one. And 10 doubled. Yeah. Dice damage is doubled for the crit. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so that would be the first one was a crit, so that would be mm. 20. One team. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, nine for the second one. Twenty nine. Oh, nice. Jeez, oh, Pete. Yeah. So basically, Fulgrin uh, caps out one of the knees of this thing as it falls to the ground, followed by a resounding clang against the top of its head, uh, caving it in some as the electricity immediately <laughs> disperses from it. Uh, it goes dormant as well. Okay, that's kind of crap. Um, okay. Don't worry. Say it's pretty cool. End of Fulgrin's turn. <laughs> it comes back to life. As it lays there for a brief moment dormant, you watch as there's a purple flash across its chest and the electricity <laughs> reignites. On the, green um, one? on the green one that just fell. Uh, it takes its whole turn to begin to regain it consciousness. It just reset, bro. Uh, the blue one, also dormant. <laughs> The energy uh, activates here? as it spends its whole turn leave. regaining leave. consciousness. Leave. Glyph, you're up with Zeph on deck. Yeah, where's my mouth? Okay, um, uh, well, um. Has it been around since he's displaced it? The, the purple rune? Yes, it, that round has uh, gone by. Okay. Uh, well, first things first, uh, I think Pothole's gonna get on top of it and just keep, like, jumping on it. Sure. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and roll uh, attacks. Does he have advantages as prone? Correct. Nice. Uh, Would technically be incapacitated. An unnatural. Mm, they're not incapacitated. Okay. So you're telling me Windows is not vulnerable while starting. 
It is not vulnerable. Ron. <laughs> <laughs> not no, it's it's 10 strongest. more points of force. 10 damage. more points of force damage. Force damage. It begins to beat into this thing as it slowly begins to reassemble itself, <laughs> taking damage as it does so. Um, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to do an intelligence check and see if I can figure out Make the correlation between Make those two check. things. I'm so smart. 12. 12? There's something that connects the three of them? The, the, the automaton, the orb, and the panel. But you're not sure how. Uh, all right, well, beep, beep, beep. And I'm going to press it. It does nothing. Is it even pressing? Panel? Does it? If I, it's not button. Panel. <laughs> I want to know if me pressing it. Yeah, there's one right there. That's the panel, right? Yes. Yeah, panel, this is the button. Yeah, it's not a button, though. Maybe or, maybe that's or, lit up now, but I can't see because there's sh- in the way. Well, this is just where it's yeah. stand. Yeah, that's where I was Oh, okay. Well, there's, there's still all this stuff keep, in the way. I mean, it's not hard to see over. It's not like... Okay, it's can it's I see? Is this thing lit up? Panel's not lit up. Hmm. Do you press it? Does it light up? No, you said it didn't light oh, okay. up. Mm-hmm. I got nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Frustratedly, I turn and just shoot something. Uh, go ahead and roll at. Go ahead and roll your intelligence one more time. Balefire is going to go ahead and give you advantage on that roll. Thanks for something, Balefire. Uh, even worse, he creeped me out. Seven. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. You, you, like, still don't know what the correlation is. All right, and yeah, well, maybe Zeph, you, you are up. Kenneth, you're dumb. Dumb. Uh, Zeph is going to um, cast fly. Sure. On himself with all all the automatons just being on the ground for a bit. He's just <laughs> like. <sighs> He flies down to the two other draconians who are looking at the orb. Yeah. And he's like, Hi guys, what you doing? Uh, hold on, I'm trying to. F- no, I can't talk. It's on my turn. It's free okay. action. Free action. Right. Trying to figure it out. I don't know. Uh, there's a correlation, but I can't figure out what it is. Can I do an intelligence check? You sure can try. Thank you. Oh, You're you welcome. Let me try. Oh. Huh? What's my intelligence? Plus Zero. minus one. Plus ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. <laughs> Smart yep. boy. You're about the same. You're about the same speed as he is right now. Yeah. Okay. We all need. All I never could figure out what this was for. Did fire give him advantage? He already gave you advantage. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Ooh. Uh, Does he use a le- legendary action? To sure. Why not? You want to give him legendary actions? I'll make a note of that. Did later. he not? Yeah. Have that during the I did, yeah, yeah. He did. He had that thirteen in the last fight. Thirteen. Slightly better than Glyph. There's definitely a correlation between the panel, this orb, and the automatons. We can't quite figure out what it is. No. You suck, man. Yep, there's definitely a connection. <laughs> there's correlation right. right there. Lighters. <laughs> Lighters. 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 Back Lighters. 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 Calvin right. said that with a grin on his face. Yeah. <laughs> big old, big old grin. Just Kenneth, out. you're up. Oh, shoot. Good luck, guys. Um, Kenneth, they're coming back up. Okay. Uh, can I also do an intelligence check? Because if they are <laughs> over there, like, what's going on with the orb? Yeah, but your DC is harder. Why? Because you don't know what any of this is. You just, you hear us yelling, yep, they're connected. They're purple, the purple. <laughs> purple, yeah. purple, purple. Yeah, make an intelligence check. Let's see. You know what? If I'm just hearing, or like, I don't know. If you want to try to make an intelligence check to see the Can I just hit track. whatever's purple? You shoot an arrow at it? Gun. Shoot a gun at the orb? Why, might as well. Go for it. If you don't know what it is, you shoot it. Sure. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. the last guy shot it. Uh, oh. Eight plus nine. That'll hit. Okay. It's a then roll. I'll, all right, okay. It ricochets and hits a, hits a glyph. It's uh, going to hurt. Gun safety, guys. It literally wings Zeph. Yeah. Seven points in Yeah, as he flies away. <laughs> Game. Leaves a scrape, a scrape across the orb next to the two draconians who were arguing over it. They turn around and like, "Whoa!" <laughs> Dude, uh, was it or no? Uh, it just left a scuff again. <clears throat> so that didn't work. That didn't work. Because it's magic, work. I bet. Uh, all right, I guess I'll just hit the next one that's popped up then with my other attack. And just They're all on the ground. Okay. So it's disadvantage on any of them because it's a ranged attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got you. That's fine. Okay, go and roll your attack. Which one are you shooting at? Blue guy. Blue one? Okay. Sure. 13 plus 9. I'm sure that one's good. 22. That one's a nat 19. Yeah, so it'll hit. Okay. 
Ooh, that's a 12 plus 4, 16 points of damage. <laughs> Another like chunk of stone blasts like off of it. Uh, the bodies are looking rough, but the energy is still there. Set up a game. Um, okay, yeah, end of Kim's turn, top of the round. Cover Lucius, one. you're up, dude. Lucius starts seeing this, like... Uh, Don't start. dirty. He's I'll very scared. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, okay. He said the Lucius sees that armor looks horrible. Oh, I'm yeah. horribly bloodied. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, wait, that's not normal? Okay. Uh, and uh, Lucius is going to... Since I already have that potion of great healing in my hand, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna un- uh, uncork it and then throw it up in the air, and then the spectral hand comes out from under it and then guides it over. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna use my action to pour it into uh, his mouth. All right, go and roll the uh, healing on that for me, please. Everyone, give me your. Uh, at disadvantage class. though, because cats specifically lap things. They don't know how to drink the way I don't care. He's yeah, you have to it. put it in a bowl. <laughs> yeah, it has to be like running water. <laughs> he spits it up to put it in a bowl. It's too cold. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking cats, man. Uh, put it in a bowl that has running sense. water so that they are like intrigued <laughs> by the end. Yeah. We have to carry one of those with us all the time. I actually ignore it sometimes. <laughs> uh, you take, uh, you take uh, 10 billion damage. Um, yeah, don't. you should see him at You heal time. 13 points. Woo, 13 points. Not yeah. bad. All right. Yeah, not bad. Uh, Lucius looks around he's gonna probably cast I think he's gonna cast expeditious retreat on himself so he can is that a bonus action yes okay <clears throat> a bonus action um, let me see let me see how it reads again see if I can actually use like as a cast like if I can still use uh, sorry expeditious retreat TBD you when you cast a spell yep. you can take the dash action okay so I'm gonna and then, and then bonus action for the team. Thanks. So I'm just gonna bonus action dash. Get the fuck away from everyone. <coughs> yeah, we're, uh, of course. Over here. Yeah, all the way over. I think I can make it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, take <laughs> cover. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, it's on all fours and skitters around the corner. <laughs> end of your turn, TBD, you are up with you Ormir the, on deck. The, the, the grudge crawl? Yeah, I do grudge crawl. Mm. Or no, let's make it grievous crawl, okay? Grievous is cool. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one to do. What you really need to roll that dice, not drop it. Correlation thing? I know you said the DC is higher. Right? Intelligence check. Intelligence check. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, does he heal out the top of his turn? I can get it to repeat. Hmm? Does he heal out the top of his turn with a regeneration potion or no? No. Nah, uh-huh. it's only 12. Well, it was a question. Well, well, it was a question. Yeah, not Doesn't make sense gonna, to you. I'm gonna go climb up back where his F is. Yes. I can do that. And then, and then. Uh, it'll take you... How much speed do you have? A lot. Uh, it's a monk. I don't know why I'm asking this speed? question. 40. Uh, back it's flip. gonna take you quite a bit of forty foot high jump because yeah. it's <coughs> he's about sixty feet in the air right now. Ooh, I'm forty feet in the air. Dash action bonus. How convenient. Can you do step. Oh, you could do step of the wind if you wanted to, or you could just if do he has the key points to do step of the wind, he could use that to bonus action dash to get himself up there. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah. 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 Key points to give you bonus uh, action dash. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got one more key point. Okay, so you can bonus action step of the wind and literally step on the wind to get up top where Zef currently is flying. Tabini, how you doing? Zef, if you guys, if you could turn these off. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, it he would. Looks, they, hit a lot, they hit a lot harder than I thought. There's a switch on. on end of your turn. Yep. Aramir, you are up. I'm still in a bloodied rage, so yeah. I'm going to keep on like, slamming <coughs> into this one in front. At advantage, down. hit him away, dude. Yep, yep. It's going it's to be like a call because thing where you can only kill him by like cutting him uh, into pieces. 21. 21 hits. And 19 again. 19 <laughs> Both hits. The same. Going away damage. Alrighty, so this is uh, bludgeoning damage. Yep. That's nine on the first one. Yep. Uh, a total of thirteen on the second. So Oof. a total of uh, that was. Gosh, my brain is twenty-two <laughs> points of bludgeoning. Yep. And then nine, twelve. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's another point. Uh, another twenty-one points. So I did forty. Three points of damage. Jeez! Uh, How much? You immediately cause the energy to dissipate once again. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just continually just like yep, just swaying away. Like, all right, it's like lumberjack chopping, yeah. but with a so mop. so wait, so like so so like a spectral hand is bottle feeding you like a healing potion while you're going like crazy. Just going to town. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Uh, you dissipate the energy on that as it stays prone. Does not do anything. All right, really end of your, your turn. It is now the Flux Charger's turn. It has regained its energy. It stands up. <laughs> And is going to go ahead and spin around uh, the glyph, activating once again and then sputtering out. The orb activating for a moment before sputtering out. Um, as it is going to go ahead and do uh, what it does best, which is arc lightning. And it's going to go ahead and fire arc lightning at the three draconians that it sees. There's only two there. It sees a third one up in the air. Invisible. <laughs> Uh, so it's gonna go ahead and well wait no I will get an attack hold on I don't think so because he never technically left 30 range. foot it only has a 30 foot after it hits the target they're too high for that mm. so it's gonna roll I'm just gonna roll a d6 <laughs> on odds <laughs> it hits Zeph on evens it hits Balefire and Glyph you don't want it to, you well, know, odds are good it's gonna hit him either way she goes oh, yeah. odds so it, it's a 5 so it hits Zeph and TBD because he's That's up there <laughs> so it's us a roll I think Zeph, that is a natural 20. No way. Oh my god. Is that a hit? That's definitely a hit. <laughs> TVD, I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please, as Next. it's going to arc out and hit you. Uh, um, can I use nice. protective wings to give him a plus three? Uh, no, you're making him just do a roll. He's just rolling a dexterity okay. saving throw, yeah. 22. So you'll take half damage. Um, All right, no. so for Zeph. So it's just normal oh. damage. <laughs> Oh, that does not sound God, that's so many dice. <laughs> no. Just three. I hope we die. Can we end, end the podcast here? <sighs> Zeph, you take 40 points of lightning damage. <gasps> How much? 40? 40 on that, on that critical hit. Oh, on the crit. Um, I have no idea. That was just no. him, right? Yeah, yeah, you take 20. You were taking uh, half damage because you succeeded in the saving oh, throw. Holy uh, unfortunately, no. That's going to be 17 points of life. No! That's already... Ha- it wouldn't matter. Uh, wait, uh, seven, wait eight, both, of the, both of them... Yeah, that would have been half, but I knew that... Yeah, so both it would have been uh, eight. Oh yeah. my god, this is crazy. Both both so, both so our last words to each other. Hey, Zeph, could you turn these off? Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> as lightning strikes and you both fall. As you both fall, you do take damage as you right both... Killed. Hit the ground, meaning oh. that you both fail two death saving throws. Oh my god! So far. So Wait, we fly so <laughs> off of the Kawa? Yeah, you my fall, dude. Slow falls. How far were they up? Yeah, yeah. 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 My, wi- my wings unfurl too, and his corpse huh? slows. Well, no, not 80, like 40 feet up. Have to be awake. Okay, it was I'm 60 like, seconds. Yeah. Okay. Oh my yeah. god. They're, they're unconscious, so it's just immediately two death saving throws. Okay, it's like, two? If it's like stacked, yeah. No, it's, I'm not doing that. It's, okay. I mean, I could, I could roll that, but I'm not going to do it. Yeah, because that would have. I'm just saying, would have one shot with this man. <laughs> yeah, probably. But we're not going to twenty. Because it would have been forty-six down. fall damage. 40. But yeah, we failed and two. So you had, you automatically failed two death saving throws. In that moment, there, you would have died immediately. Yeah, you would have been killed outright. Thank goodness there was three seconds of falling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> as both of them hit the ground, their lifeless bodies crunching with a uh, sickening thud. That ends the the charger is going to turn its uh, direction to the two at the orb and is going to begin to move in that direction, moving uh, thirty feet. Thirty, I think. Then. Oh, that was okay. That's too close. <laughs> end of your turn, Fulgrin. You are up, my dude. Quick question: Do you guys oh, think no, he's going to let us actually die? Because Captain <clears throat> always escape ropes, party deaths. Let's see. Not much for you. Escape from the party dead? That sounds like a band name right, to me. So I'm going to cast... What's this Pokemon? <laughs> Misty Escape Step. Party as a bonus action. Sure. Okay. And we're going to come up behind this guy. Is that 30 feet? <laughs> oh, wait. Hang or on. like 60. I thought, that's like 8 inches. It's, does Misty <laughs> Step give you 60 feet? Or give you <laughs> New Will is it, awesome. Uh, never mind. Feet. It does only give me 30 feet. Yep. Yeah, 30 really feet. changes things. He's been watching what we do in the shadows. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Sure. Well, hold on. Great show. It's a great show. This is the new season started. started. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go Misty good. Step. Uh huh. 30. And then I'm going to cast. Meow Meow. Meow Meow. Meow Meow. Alright, then I'm going to cast Hold Person on this guy. Okay. Oh, he's going to flex and bust out of that. What does it have to roll? Uh, uh, 14 wisdom. Check. I think whole person is concentration. Yep. Mm-hmm. You will lose concentration on what you were concentrating on. On Bane. Bane. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, that is a... Uh, that's a 16, even with a negative. 
Um, does that guy still have uh, Bane when he went down? Um, hold on, let me technically. Sure. Technically. And if that's the case, then he has to that's subtract a D4. A D4. Okay. Thank you for reminding oh. me of that. Uh, it's a two, so that will bring it down to a fourteen. Me just hit. <laughs> you need it. No. Yeah. So it saves on the whole person, unfortunately. That sucks. It rolls with the way. dice. I am Quite a smelling. All right. Cats. End of your turn. This is like a. It is now the green automaton. It <laughs> gains energy again. No, it doesn't no, get up. Down. It spends its whole turn regaining consciousness once more. Yeah, and it's about to um, But it's still prone. Uh, it is now the blue automaton's turn. It's going to go ahead and get up because it spent its last turn uh, reviving. And it's going to go ahead and I'm going to roll to see if it gains the glyph. It does not. So it's going to go to the first thing that it sees, which is... Ooh, is it... The down boys? <laughs> no, it's Thulgren standing. Oh, yeah. However... It can't see me. Mm, it might just use one of its charges... Why would, it, why would it do that? Cast Thunder Wave. Why do you think it would do that? <gasps> no! Yes! <laughs> yeah, it's no! gonna do that. Fulgren, I need you to make a constitution no! saving throw. Uh, no, can no! we not? Can we not? Can we not? Oh, die. Dude. I've never been a part of one of these except when Will doesn't. It's so frustrating. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Dude, stop talking about yourself that way. <laughs> Thunder. Hear the thunder. Thunder. Ready to hear the thunder. Ow. I think it's about a time to head that? on out. About to head out. <laughs> Not good, guys. Um, that is going to be a seven. <laughs> seven is a failure. You don't say. No. You are going to take... Not the only failure. 11 points of thunder damage. Ow. And you are pushed 10 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as you sprawl across the ground and land with a thud, the wind getting knocked out, you watch as the two uh, bruised and broken bodies of TBD and Zeph go scattering across the ground and with a sickening snap, their bodies lay still. Wait. No longer moving. No. They failed their last two death saving throws with that damage. Wait, last They two? are... We had four? No. <laughs> 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 Wait. Their last two, one each, uh, saving throws. Um, they are full on dead. Mm. What? End of its turn, Glyph, you are up with Zeph on deck. Well, <laughs> no, no, I, no I he's stand. on the deck. No, he is as he on is the deck, deck as you can be. Um, <laughs> You're up, dude. Well, uh, come on, that's my start, dude. Yeah. Out. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna cast speak with them. I mean. Take me back to like the home. Hothole's gonna 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 mm -hmm. and attack him. Go ahead and roll. Doesn't even matter. No. It's 14. 14. No. Nope. Uh, and Glyph, seeing his best friend and adopted son pretty much dead, mm -hmm. is gonna try and make an intelligence check to figure it out. Check. I personally feel like it's a disadvantage That's because I'm ball, absolutely disrawed in this moment. Does it sharpen your focus or does it distort it? It's up to you. Mm. I'm a freaking super soldier. Yeah. Make, yeah, yeah. I feel like this gives You've learned to deal with this kind of thing. Give it a, get advantage, honestly. <laughs> uh, uh, 22. The panel controls the automatons. This is a relay. But the panel malfunctioned because of something, age, m misuse, whatever it is. This relay is perpetually emitting a signal. It has to be turned off, but you have to get power back to the panel somehow. Oh, okay. Well, Otherwise, the relay will continue to initiate the order, which is target yeah. draconians. I'm going to go 5, 10, Dang. 15, 20, 25, 30. It's going to take an attack of opportunity if you roll right past it. That's freaking fine, dude. No, it's not. It's more. Uh, that's a 4, so it's going to miss. It's boom, swings high. Uh, you duck out of the way. You should be. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I just use my movement to get closer to the panel. You still have an action. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm okay. at the panel. You're at the panel. Very that's good. The, um, out. That's all I can do. Okay. End of your turn. Uh, it is stuff the Kenneth's well. turn with Lucius on deck. Oh, oh shit. shit. Um, <laughs> Kenneth is going to slide right over the bodies, scared as hell. Mm-hmm. 
If I can, can I pull out two of those Moon Sister crystals? Because I got two. Okay. Can I do like a double jam and be nope. like, you did it not before? Not in combat, you can't. Why not? Because it's two things at once. Pick one. You don't think that I could just, and then... Nope. Pick which one do you want to try to save? Uh, TBD. Okay. Yeah. Wow, well, that's hard. <laughs> it makes a kid, so... A D20. <laughs> Come on, you worked before, work again. <laughs> it's not good. It's a three. <laughs> you punch the crystal into TBD's broken body, <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> wow. I mean, you fail another death save. Now, so something happens, ahead. little blood gets on your sleeve. Well, I'll take the back out. If she would have punctured the skin, yeah. Oh, just that's punch so weak. Punch through the, mm. yeah, whatever's left of. That is the end of your turn. Yeah, I guess. Well, um, I'm gonna push back uh, five ten. You you ran up to them to do this, so you don't have any oh, movement left. Oh, that's true. Okay. Um, okay. I think that uh, has to be my turn. Yeah. Okay. Top of the round, Lucius, you are up. What are these over here? <clears throat> uh, targets. Targets. Yep. Uh, so were those. Uh, Glyph, did you find out anything? <clears throat> uh, yep, I gotta do something to the panels. That's so vague! Yep. That's literally all I know. And that thing dissipated, right? What's it's that? currently mm-hmm. dissipating and reactivating right now. The green the one, sorry. Green one? The green one is currently so reactivating. Techni- so it technically died. Can I move as I'm a bonus action? Constantly keep this thing to down. the fire guy? Sure. Out of potions. The best I can do is give this guy more time. So, oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Let's just gonna run up to him. Sure. Uh, and cast Ooh. darkness on himself. Oh. Okay. Frick, yeah. Spoon, the darkness appears around. Actually, you. can I not get near him? I'm going to still do that, though. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I must be back here and cast darkness on myself. You drop oh. darkness around you and it immediately envelops you to uh, pothole and the red automaton in darkness. Yeah. I can see. Yeah. Um, and, I move, and I use my bonus action to move uh, Hex to that guy. I'm going to okay. disadvantage on wisdom checks <clears throat> and hopefully overlap with perception. <laughs> sure. All right. End of your turn. Ormir, you're up. I'm keeping this thing down. Um, oh, but it's not an advantage anymore. Brick. It is still prone. That is an advantage because oh, well, you are using melee attacks. Keep it down. Uh, unnatural 20. Mm-hmm. And uh, 24. Okay. Almost in that. Do your damage. Cool. Okay, so. Melee bludgeoning. Uh, that is 7 on the first. Yep. Man, that's not as good. Um, plus six, so thirteen points of bludgeoning. Sure. Plus six and eight. Uh, hey Calvin, I just realized I don't have enough spell slots for darkness. Isn't it just something you would cast? No, it, it, that's daylight because I'm at Azamar. It's the opposite. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna attack it twice Calvin. then. I'm gonna get within melee, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna cast inflict wounds on it. Okay, give me just a second. You, how much was the total? Uh, it was, it was a total of it was 13 points of bludgeoning sure. and 14 points of lightning. 13 points of bludgeoning. So 27. 27. Not enough. Uh, you dissip- You no. watch as the energy dissipates, but it's just not enough to keep it down. Okay. And it is still. It's, it's gonna get up on its turn basically. Uh, you didn't dissipate to stop it again. Um, I'm gonna run them because uh, this thing's not down, so yeah. I'm moving. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Yeah. 30, 35. Yeah, right there. I'm gonna, okay. I'm, I'm so. And uh, I'm gonna stay here. Your I'm turn. Terrified of that. Going back thing to. There. <laughs> going back to Lucius. Go ahead and roll your inflict wounds, please. Roll the attack. Sorry. Roll hard. Gosh, no, you're Gosh, good. Dang, I'm trying to. Gosh, dang. That's a little stressful. So, like, I get it. I get it. Because uh, I don't even know. Because Lucius doesn't know that what specifically Cliff's trying to do. But he knows that he's trying to. Yeah. Do something with his brain. Yeah. Okay. So let's pretend that he never moved. I just want to see how far away. If I could possibly like get to Glyph and touch him before. So I was here, and then 
I have expeditious retreat still active. Yes, you do. You've so. got plenty of movement. Get there, dude. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna give you guidance because you need that. You need every little bit. Adding a D4 to whatever you do. And then I'm gonna bonus action dash over to to to. I don't know if I want to throw myself into the fire immediately. Don't. So I'm just gonna. I mean, you're not your county, and so it's not gonna hate you. I'm gonna, that is not true. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna use my rest of my movement to get on top of a the the pillar thing that's got toppled over and just freaking fucking idiot. shake violently or something. I'm how just gonna try to get his attention. How many uh-huh. rounds of combat have we? I'm just through? yeah. I, I'm gonna give him guidance as an action. Five? I'm just gonna. I think. Use my yeah. It's like the adrenaline ring, so I gain two hit points every single turn. <laughs> oh, nice! Oh, so we'll do that. Up by ten. Let's go. Yeah, uh, yeah. That. Okay. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get his attention while on top of that. I gave right. him uh, It's gonna go ahead and uh, try to hit you with uh, its fist. Me? Yeah, you can try to get his attention. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, please do that. That's a four. Miss. And a three. Miss. Both miss it's as it swings at you. And it was. <laughs> Um, that okay. It's the first scary combat I've ever been in counting. All right, that ends its turn. Fulgrin, you are up. Okay. Uh... This is what I would call a skittiest moment. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have a now? Hmm? That's a. Uh, that's that's Bellfire. He is what we call. Plot armor if we almost die. <laughs> uh, I mean, two of us are already okay. dead. Yeah, already full dead. He so. might pull a soldier boy. <laughs> so, this is only going to Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's from the boy. Yeah, it's a boy's reference. Don't worry about it. This is only going to affect these two guys, right. Aramir and Kenneth. But I am going to well. use my last spell <laughs> and cast a uh, prayer of healing. Oh, right. oh. I believe that's a 10 minute spell. Oh, is it? Yeah, look at the casting time. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, you so you don't have 10 rounds. Well, it's only 100 rounds. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. All right, well, then I guess uh, we're just going to... I will tell you this, because I know you are a new paladin and I want to throw you a bone. You do have lay on hands, which is a healing pool that you can give to somebody if you touch them. Lay on hands? Yeah, it's like you have 25 points of healing. Yeah, you, you have 25 points of healing people. that you can touch and disperse to anybody as you see fit. <laughs> Don't do it right. to the corpses. Don't not do the to corpses. We'll not bring them all. Don't do it. I would love that. Burns is a whole pool. Don't don't take just put 25 into TBD. Come on! Are you okay? Do you need Play on your boss It would be great. If I have 17. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> do the lay on hands and give uh, her all of the 25. <laughs> You give her 25. All right, you yep. regain 25 uh, hit points. Oh, where wait, where was I at? 17. You were at 17. Yep. Oh. So. You could have done less. 22. Well, 22. Doesn't matter. 22. He, he dumped 22 all of them maxes. Oh, okay. true. Yep, yep. He dumped it all Because he doesn't know. He doesn't okay. know. He yeah. just sure. dumped healing in there. So you got bonus ones. No okay. Uh, no, it does not turn to bonus temporary. Bonus feelings. Okay. <laughs> End <laughs> of uh, <laughs> Fulgren's turn. It is now <laughs> the uh, green automaton. It is going to stand up. This guy is not happy with me. Um, so and he can't it see is me. going to apologize for its part in this. Trend. You're like, oh, frick, I killed a kid. Oh, okay. It. And it's going to go ahead and make its way towards Balefire, moving. If, I don't think you can get all the way up there. Mm-hmm. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. Can it get all the way up there? Well, it was here? Yeah, right there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30. No, it yeah. cannot. Yeah. So, okay, so it's going to do, that's its turn because that's yeah. all it can do there. Yeah. Uh, the blue it one is going to work. scuttle towards Thulgren and Kenneth because that's what it's there for. No. It's going to take two attacks. That's enough. First one on Thulgren, it's a natural one. First oh, one on Kenneth, that's down. a natural 19. That does hit. Okay. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Uh, it's only six points of uh, bludgeoning damage. You from two, two to the three because I have resistance. <laughs> you can bring them down to help. A bludgeoning damage? <laughs> because of him. I'm within 60 feet of him. Of the warding bond? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Glyph, you're up. Be uh, within uh, 60 feet. You got a d4. Uh, yeah, I'll try it. Try and suss out this thing. Are you attempting to fix it, or are you just trying to look at it? I feel like that question answers itself. It's fixing it. For sure. You're gonna try and fix it. You're gonna try and fix it. Yeah. So this is a tinkerer's check. Ooh. Okay. So nine this would plus be three. dexterity plus your proficiency, unless you're using something else. Say, uh, 
I feel like he's like heavily wink winking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know he is. It's a panel that you might need. Oh, what? Huh? No, I, I don't think I would use the, like, pull out a panel that I know nothing about to solve another panel I know nothing about. That's what Zeph Sounds would do. like it. It's, I don't think that's what Zeph would do. That's what Zeph would do. Oh, really? <laughs> that's what Zeph would do. Not, we're talking yeah, about Glyph here. Right. Yeah, I think Glyph would look at it and try and, I mean, all... No, I can't think of anything that I would wish for in the magic apron. So yeah, I'm gonna go with a uh, um, kill switch. <laughs> uh, yeah, a magic kill switch yes. in the apron. Yeah. No. Uh, so eight Uh-oh. plus nine, seventeen, twenty. <laughs> he went. A twenty? Yes, unnatural. A remote control. Uh, uh, freaking can magic hurt. screwdriver. See the shot? It can't hurt. Yeah, I'll just. Uh. What are you pulling out a remote control? No, there's no remote control. Look at fucking that. <laughs> God. Well, then that's not what he does, <laughs> and he All does right. something else. You, roll, is the you rolled a 20 on your check. Tinkering check, yes. Yeah, tinkering check. Okay, well, 20 is the DC. Oh my God. You <laughs> pull the panel back a little bit, and as you do, you see that there's like some weird, just kind of like fixtures or mechanisms back there. You reach your hand back there and begin to like feel around to try to see if something's out Jostle of place. Cord. You touch something and push it forward. You feel a jolt of electricity as you do so and you watch as the glyph on the front that sim- same purple glyph <laughs> light up fully. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, I'll just touch it. It activates. <laughs> the other glyphs uh, activate all steadily humming with an energy. Okay, cool. I'm going to push them all. You push all of them? No. We pushed all of them to start Don't this that's whole thing. Fair. No, that's fair. I'm going to push all of them to stop this roll. thing. Okay. Okay. Least, I hope the red one be activated. If, if you release more of these things. <laughs> so, I will tell you this. No. To turn certain things on, you have to fall within a certain purview of the roll. So, to turn on the scaffolding obstacle course was anywhere from a 10 to a 13. Nailed. The first time I rolled it, I rolled an 11. The second time I rolled it, I rolled a 10. To activate the automatons, you have to roll a 1, a 2, or a 3. The first time I rolled, I rolled two ones. The second time I rolled, two twos. So you watch as, well, not the automaton, but also the, uh, the spinning thing. So you watch as just as each thing came to life, first the spinning defender or whatever, Close to a stop. Nobody even messed with that. It really annoys me. The obstacle course on the top sh- 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 stops. And on cue, all three automatons lumbering forward, bringing themselves back together, the electricity sh- sh- scatters. <laughs> and they all begin to tumble and fall, their broken bodies unable to reshape back to their original forms as they collapse to the ground, dormant and fully deactivated as the broken bodies of the automatons fall to the ground now mingled with the two broken bodies (laughs) of TBD and Zeph the Draconian and that is where we will leave you all tonight with the burning question of what's going to happen Next week. And this is where we take eight weeks off. You know what's so freaking awesome? What's that? I'm not gonna be here next week. Wait, uh, what I is, don't think what was the name of the fire? Well, it doesn't fucking matter, does it? Because you don't have a character. I didn't so. realize that, but that's gonna be interesting. Uh, we'll figure it out. What was, the, what was the name of this game? A flux charger. Flux charger. <laughs> Uh, but we'll figure it out when the time here. comes. Stop pushing Thank buttons. You. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for playing, really and truly. Thank you guys so much for listening, also really and truly. We'll see you guys next time. At least most of us will. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye, oh, man. Bye for good. All right. I so got bad. Bad. listening to the wild magic school bus we hope you had a great time listening we always have an incredible time making it for you you can find new episodes each monday on whatever podcasting platform you use and if you're feeling extra philanthropic you can leave us a five-star review it helps us out a lot 
If you want to stay in the loop, we have socials. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WildMagicPod or on Reddit at r slash WildMagicSchoolBus. If you're enjoying this podcast, let us know by saying hello. We love making new friends. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Core memory, core memory for Elsie there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, we did a Christmas one shot, and she, uh, we were doing the like the final fight, and everything's going crazy, and there's just so much stuff going on. And Elsie's sitting over there, just having the time, like trying to figure out what to do with her character. And at one point, she goes, "Can I cast banish?" And I, in my head, I'm like, "You could try, but I'll probably like succeed." But I, I immediately was like, "Ooh!" And so I, for, I, my face fell. I was like. Uh, sure. And so at that point, I could see her getting excited. So she's like, all right, I cast Banishment. And so I made, like, a big ceremony of rolling the dice. And I'm sitting there going, like, I mean, if this succeeds, it's going to succeed. And I rolled in that one. And so at that point, I'm like, well, that's what telling the story. Mm-hmm. So she banished the character. And, of course, at that point, the fight's over because she holds concentration for a minute. Uh-huh. And it's not – it's a – it's a um, – not ethereal. What's that called? An eldritch creature. So it gets sent it's back to its plane, world. Yeah. yeah, and it's gone. And so basically, she won the game. Extra after, planar. Yeah, the extra planar creature. And so she <laughs> banished it and was just like everyone was flipping out. She's like, "Did I do it? Did I win?" I'm like, "Yeah, you yeah, you, you won, won the game, D&D. kid." Yeah. yeah. So.